All right. Wait, we're not quite ready. All right. All right. What's going on, lazy bushcrafters? That's we right. are now here in my place and not in the field. Uh, today we will be doing a what the f hell is this called? Tear maker for all the gear that we either have, came across, used, etc., etc. Uh, as you know, it's myself, Owen, and here's John. What's up? Um, yeah, so I guess we're gonna start off by saying we're gonna decide what gear we think is a tier S, which is like the highest tier, versus something that's like an F tier, which is the lowest. Um, you got anything you wanna say? Um, so I think that what makes this interesting is this is every single piece of gear that we've ever had or touched. So it's basically every single category of anything related to any hiking or camping that we've ever done. Okay. Um, including the like brand X brands, which I did manage to find. And, uh, you know, we'll probably be talking about some multiple, uh, items for some of the bigger companies. All right. Well, we're not gonna, it's a, it's a long list. So we're not gonna talk too much, yeah. unless we're talking about the gear itself. But we're you know yeah. we're, gonna, we're not gonna talk too much about that. So the first thing that we have right now is Alpine Air. It's it's a it's a food product that you can get from REI or from uh, Amazon or wherever you want to get it from. We've had it before in the past. I don't think we had a video on it, but we had it before in the past. And in my opinion, it was not that good. No, it wasn't. It just the flavors were off. There was just there's something about it that did not taste good in our uh, on our trips. Mm -hmm. So they are also like the budget one of the kind of more budget uh, options for freeze dried food. Yeah. I noticed, and yeah, they just they don't taste. I don't remember a ton of it, but I do remember, like you said, the taste was off. Um, it lives up to its reputation, which is that it's not good. Okay, so what do you think? S tier, A, B, C, D, R, F. I, well, we were talking about this before. There's other foods that are worse than that. Yes. So I think probably it would be a D tier. You think it would be a D tier? Uh, you know, I think it's around a C. Still C? Yeah, I, w I would say it's a C simply because it's it's edible, you know? It's not like you can't eat it. True, it isn't horrible. It's just that... It's not as good as the other the other food brands that are out there. So we're going to talk about other food brands, obviously. Yeah, we're going to talk future. about other food brands. I think for now we're going to make it. We'll make it. I'll, I'll let it be a D for now. All right, we just can always switch this. Yeah, it's just simply because, you know, if we come across something like another brand that's actually, you know, better, then we can kind of justify it, but not as good as the best brands. Yeah. So there you go. D tier it is. Yep. Uh, on the next list, I mean, on, on the next uh, item up is the Aquamira water drops. I personally haven't used the Aquamira water drops. However, John has. I tried it once. And some really nasty water from um, outside my house. Yeah, it was fine. It tasted just like a very slight, um, I still remember it was very slight, kind of mild chemical-y taste, but it wasn't that bad. This also has to encompass the Geiger rig since Aquamira bought okay, Geiger yeah. rig. Right. Um... I like the Geiger rig, it's just a little heavier. I like the way that the little pumping thing works. Um, one thing I'll say about the Geiger rig is that the um, their spray nozzle doesn't allow you to spray, like you have to use your fingers, which could be dirty, to actually like get onto the nozzle yeah. head that you'd be like using you know, with your mouth. So mm -hmm. I actually think that that's not as good of a design. But um, overall, I would say Aquamira is at least C. Okay. So we're just gonna make it C. Like I said, I don't have much input on that i did like the design about how you can you know use it as a nozzle but as john did say if you put put your finger on it you're gonna get the nozzle dirty and then you don't want you know poopy hands yes on, it kind of defeats the purpose on, yeah of course so yeah. bam see all right next on the list is something that i personally have uh and something that i've always told john to get However, he refuses to get, so... Good. Just a couple days ago. Yeah, see, he got something else instead of this. So the next on the list is Arcteryx. Uh, I'm just going to go right ahead and say I think it is a an elite brand, like an S 
tier. Um, I mean, at at least an A tier. Mm -hmm. But I think it's an S tier simply because they have an outstanding warranty. Mm -hmm. um, their their customer service is great. Like I've had damages to my older jacket, and they took care of me one hundred percent. I'm not gonna say what they did, but you know they did take care of me. Um, most of their lineup is Gore-Tex, which is, as you know, is probably a breathable, highly water resistant slash waterproof uh, material, and it has a lot of durability. Again, I really like the brand, and I think it's an S. I think you're probably right. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about Arcturus. All right, so we're going to make it an S. S. Also, didn't you say that the military uses Arcturus? Right. So, so I, I think, like, the, the military, the Marines at least, they use a, um, the, the, well, when I was in, it was the Ilby pack. So they used, I think, a contract. They contracted out Arcturus to do it. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I've heard. All right. All Next right. one. Another Next, food. Yeah, another food. Um, backpacker's Pantry. What do you think? I as so this is a little different for me because like I really like Backpackers Pantry. I think it is a little bit a covet above. Also, just because I'm a vegetarian and has a lot of good vegetarian options, mm -hmm. it always comes out cheaper. Um, the foods that I've tried, um, the Three Sisters stew sticks out for me, but there's, there's a bunch of other ones. They do taste a little bit better. There's a little bit of spice flavor. Um, specifically, some of them have just a little bit more of a fresher taste, whatever it is they put in there. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like A. Yeah, I mean, it's it, Backpackers Pantry is pretty good. Uh, the desserts are pretty good as well. We had that creme brulee. Oh, was that creme brulee? Was that? I thought that was Mountain House. No, no, that was not Mountain. No, 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 no. That was that was Backpackers Pantry. Then that was good. Then that yeah, was good. Yeah, so it's yeah. definitely a good <laughs> yeah. brand. So I definitely think it's an A as well. A tier. All right. All right. So up next is our favorite. Well, not really. It's a. Uh, Backo. Backo. I had that, what, one or two times? That was a saw that I got. It was one of those little hand saws. Yeah. I mean, really quick, basically I'd say it was, I don't know, C or D tier. <laughs> you know, it, it did not cut well. Yeah. It did not feel good in the hands when you're using it. I personally think it's a D tier. I'll agree. Um, D tier. <laughs> just the cutting power is not good. Yeah. So that in itself is a D tier. Yeah. There's... There's gonna be the thing that replaced it a couple yeah, right, couple lines right. down there. Well, and we'll talk about that. Yeah. So D tier. D tier, absolutely sure. Big Agnes. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I have no Big Agnes. Wait, don't you have a? I have a Big Agnes um, uh, sleeping pad. Yeah. And I've like looked at some of the reviews for their um, yeah. sleeping bags and their and their tents. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> the only experience I had with the big agnes was when i used your uh pad yeah. one time yeah just to try it out or just for an overnight thing yeah. i thought it was okay it was it's, it, it felt kind of like you're on a boat or a little something rafty. yeah it's a little yeah. rafty yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um besides that i mean i had i had a decent night's sleep yeah i think this is one of those weird things where i think in terms of our experience mm -hmm. I would probably put it on C tier. Yeah. From reputation, I think they're probably B tier by reputation. Right. But I don't know. What do you want to do? You want to do, at no. least in terms of our experience, maybe C tier? Yeah. You uh, know? I would say so. So C tier. All right. All right. Up next is our, well, it's my, it's my brand. Well, not. well, we also have headlamps with them. Oh, yeah. We have headlamps. It's oh, a yeah. single black diamond. Yep. <laughs> I think Black Diamond has some really good gear. Like between their their headlamps and their their trekking poles, mm -hmm. um, I can't say much. Well, we can't say much about like their climbing gear, mm -hmm. but I, we know that everybody else uses them. Yeah. But for the camping stuff, the backpacking stuff, they make some really good gear. I think it's an it's an A. I would say A tier also. And yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Well, that was easy. Yep. All right. So here we go. The, the one item that replaced our backhoe saw, uh -huh. in itself, is going to be the Bob Destrude 24 inch, or you can get the 31. I think also a 21 inch. I can't remember, but we got yeah. one of the yeah. Ones. I think we got the we got like the 24 inch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 24 inch Bob Destrude buck saw. You know what? I'm gonna let you explain this one. So I think the. It's a shame that this is a boutique item mm -hmm. because there are all sorts of other saws that people who go out camping use, the 
um, triangular ones, and they just, I don't think that they're as good as this one for a lot of reasons. One, you don't necessarily get to use all of the triangular area, and then number two, you can't necessarily get somebody to help you on the other side. Yep. I think this is one of the best pieces of item yep. kits that we've gotten, and it was relatively inexpensive. Again, I think more of a boutique item because I don't see this being sold that much, and it really is a shame because it deserves to be sold more. more. Um, it's light, mm -hmm. made out of aluminum. It takes uh, saw blades that are, I think, pretty standard. You could buy a yep. new one if you mm -hmm. wanted to. And it's very simple. So I yep. think it's S tier. I think you probably do too. I think I definitely think it's an S tier. Um, just to reiterate what John said, it is lightweight. You can it's, you can use any type of, uh, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and you can get yourself yeah. one of the, 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 the fills for the saw. Yeah. Um, this thing cuts through wood like you do not believe it. Yep, absolutely. We can we can process like a whole entire log, maybe a, I would I would yeah, I would say maybe about a, a six to seven inch log Easy. in Definitely. diameter. Yep. It, matter of like maybe ten minutes, like a, a five foot you know log. Yep. Definitely. You know, real quick, real easy to use. If you buy a twenty four inch one. If you have a friend and you take a, you know you take your friend out out there you can both like you know on one side oh on one side you can hold yes anyways sorry my uh my ipad is it's dinging dinging yeah yeah sorry about that all them ladies blowing up uh, your iPad. I, I know <laughs> i know <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we forgot to use. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can you can hear more. Of that. We're gonna use the fancy man's yes. uh, laugh yes. every once in a while. So S tier. Yes, S tier. Yes. Get it. Yes. All right. So you don't know this one. I put this. Oh no, one. I do know this one. Okay. Yes, it's the Compass. Yes, Brunton Compass. I'm pretty sure that's the brand of the Compass that I have mm -hmm. that I almost never use. But I do keep one with me just in case. Honestly, mm -hmm. I think it's it's useful either way. Mm -hmm. um, just so mine was relatively inexpensive. I think they have much higher sort of like more premium compasses out there. But I, I got one that I don't even remember how much it was. But it's a small plastic. Probably um, under 20 bucks, right? Probably under $20. Yeah. I would say it's C tier, at least the one that I got. Yeah. Real quick C tier. <laughs> um, I'm not going to give too much of an input. I thought... You know, it's just a compass. There's yeah. nothing really special about it. Uh, we're not land navigating or anything like that. So I would say yeah, C to B. But since, you know, John is the more expert on this uh, item, I'm going to let him get the C. Cool. Buff. Buff. How so you... I have had a buff and you have had a buff I too. had a buff. It's sitting over there somewhere. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. It's Look, I, I, I used to wear a hat. You know, I had an REI hat. Uh, it was okay. I, I just don't like it. I think it's because my hair, you know, I have gel on right now. But, like, when I wear a hat, it gets, like, hat hair. Yep. And then, like, at the end of the day, I just get this bad headache. Yep. Because it's just, like, pushed yep. over to the side. Switched over to a buff, and now I just wear it like a headband. Yep. And I've used this for a very long time. I actually don't know where my buff went. It actually got, uh, uh, it, it, I don't know. It got lost. But I bought it prior to my trip to uh, Jordan to be on an archaeological dig, mm. back when I was the most imp most interesting man in the yeah. world. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, not interesting anymore. But I really, really liked it. I liked it so much that I bought another version of it from another company through Mass Drop because I didn't... I Actually, for some reason, I wasn't sure that Buff sold that particular one that I wanted again. Mm -hmm. um, I would say it's at least an A. I would probably. say an A, yes. All right. Oh. Oh, yes. Here we go. So... Should I no, go ahead, go ahead. It says buyers of Maine. Um, mm -hmm. I'm answering it because this is the first hammock that I ever got. Uh, Owen went straight for the jugular and got <laughs> uh, a, a war bonnet, Blackbird. But then I had to kind of follow suit, and I was not in financially the kind of place that Owen is in. So I uh, got a buyer of Maine, uh, whatever, their mosquito, their mosquito cocoon hammock, I think is how they call it. Yeah. And... Um, I think it actually did pretty well. Honestly, uh, the only other wear that I got right now are that there's some holes going in the mosquito netting right now. It's not as strong as the Warbonnet, which we'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, I think it did me pretty well. I uh, uh, there, was just, there were some issues with, like, the way that you have to, like, 
um, set it up. There's like two different lines, and then you have like poles that you have to like stick into the uh, the netting so that the netting actually spreads properly. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, um, but I would say it's a good. I don't know. I think C tier. I don't know. What would you say, C tier or B tier? <laughs> You well, know, you you've seen me do all this stuff, so. I think there's a there's a slight learning curve to it for like the first time you use it, uh, compared to you know not to say too much about the war bonnet right now, but compared to the war bonnet, which is you put it up, you tie it around a tree, and then that's the end of that. You know, yeah. this one you have to have poles, you have to you know spread it a certain way, yeah. then you had your straps, you know, it, it buckled in a certain. Uh, I thought that was okay, but you still had there was still a learning curve to it. Yeah. I would give it a. I think I would give it a C. Okay, so it's a C tier. I right. would say. Right. I think I would give it a C, a solid C, mm -hmm. leading into B. Yeah. This is an interesting one. Yeah, Camelback. Yeah. Uh, I had a Camelback when I was in the military. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a few, and um, I brought one back. Yep. Um. We went and when we first started camping. Yep, that's all we use. Yep. Camelbacks. I think you still use one. Right? I still yeah, use my still old use. Camelback from 2010, yeah. so it's almost 10 years old, and right. it's still it's not even scummy on the inside. Actually, no. that's the nice thing about it. Yeah, because you know you clean it out every yep. every time you're done. So that's a good thing. I don't do stupid stuff like put um, like yeah, sugary yeah, drinks yeah, in yeah, and yeah, things yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, I also have the Camelback backpack, which was the very first backpack right, we took right. on our hike. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Camelback's one of those interesting companies where they kind of started the entire trend. Yes. And they deserve credit for that. Mm -hmm. But, um, and I honestly haven't found a hydration bladder better. Nope. Like, I can't say that I have. Mm -mm. Um, their backpack quality is fine. Yeah. You know, I think it's on par with your kind of mid tier things. Yep. Camelback, so the funny thing about the Camelback is that. I can't say that they're innovating anything crazy. They're not like a Geiger rig where they innovated, but they still they do their thing. They do their products generally pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what would you put them in. I would. I would say they're like a B company. Fair. You know, yeah. a little bit above average. Yeah. Okay. I, I think they're, you know, an average company. They like you said, you had they have really good backpacks. Yeah. Um, their bladders, I think they're outstanding. Um, minor issues with the the actual nozzle of the where you you know the bite valve yeah it, it kind of leaks every it's true you know it's once in true. a while mm -hmm. it's kind of annoying when you're yeah. walking around with your pack on and yeah. like you, you know the little uh the hose is like dripping all over your hands it's true but besides that it's it's a solid item no it doesn't has never bursted on any of us mm -hmm. and you know that's all you can pretty much ask for absolutely right? so i think it would be a nice uh b, b tier Mm -hmm. Our first B tier. I know. All right. <laughs> All right. Not sure if you know much about Casio. Other than uh, not not the kind of nicer Casio watches. I've had some of the other ones. So, so you can get yourself a uh, well, Casio makes this, but it's a G Shock. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not gonna say too much about it. I think it's just a great watch. Uh, it has a compass on it and it tells the time. Does it have like a barometer or any one of those types it, of things? Does this one does it? This one is a I think the double sensor, but if you do get the triple sensor, which is slightly more expensive, okay. it does have a barometer on it. Uh, okay. But I, I I personally give it a a solid B. Okay. Um, the G Shock series, so yes, to speak. The okay. G Shock, yeah. Mm -hmm. B tier. <laughs> Unless you have a different opinion. No, couldn't say. <laughs> okay. Cliff bars. What do you think? Um. Well, so if you had asked this asked us this like. Four years ago, mm -hmm. we would have probably put them pretty high in yes. A tier or something like that. Mm -hmm. But since um, you know the trail mix has shown us the light and the error <laughs> of our ways, I think that this is a little bit lower because I think what we realize is that Cliff Bars they do give you good energy. They don't taste that bad, um, but because of the way they're constructed, um, they make certainly made me a lot more parched for water. Yes, um, and. They're a good small snack. I don't know. I'd put them maybe in C now. We probably would have put them in B or higher. I'm, I'm, gla you I'm glad you, say, you said C because yeah. that's also the category I would put the Cliff Bars on. Not because they don't taste good or, you know, whatever. 
It's just simply because if you pick up another snack, like, like for example, we started eating trail mix, right? Yeah. Pound for pound, the trail mix, it gives you more energy because there's chocolates, there's uh, nuts, yeah. or like all sorts of nuts. Yeah. And I don't know if it's lighter. Uh, in terms of like a weight for calories? Yeah. I can't remember. It might not be that much lighter, but um, it might it might actually have more calories. I can't remember. I'd have to like look at the numbers. So. At, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. when we have trail mix versus when we have Cliff Bars, like you said, we, we don't get as dirty. Yeah. And also, it just tastes a lot better. Yeah. Not to you know talk about trail mix, but yeah. Cliff Bars, I think it's a C. All right. I think you thought it was a C. I would say it's a C tier. So we're going to make it a C. All right. Ooh, so this is one of our first gigantic brands where they do everything. Yep. Coleman. Mm hmm so, Is this even fair to put them on here? I don't, I don't there, are they they're I, a hike I, are they a hiking they're a camping brand. They're like a car camping brand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean And yet we have had the very first tent that we ever slept in was a Coleman tent. Was it? When we were playing paintball. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, and I wow. thought we were gonna suffocate if we blocked out all of like the, the yeah. little holes and things like that. I, I, that was really dumb. That was. Yeah. Dumb. But so Coleman, what can Coleman. we say about it? I think if you're if you're a car camper, definitely it's something that you can get on the cheap. Yeah. Uh, if you're a new camper, you can get on the cheap. Yeah. Um, you don't have to worry about the durability because yeah. by the time you actually care about your gear, you're probably gonna get new gear. Yeah. So. I think it's a s D. I would say it's a D tier. You know, it's not not that, not anything special. Durability yeah. is not great. Uh, weight is not great. Um, they do do everything for car they, camping. They though. do. They do. You know. So I would give it a solid D. Not to say that D is bad, but you know, I would yeah. give it a solid D. Well, we were talking about this. We mm -hmm. need to make this D because there's something all the way at the end that we're we're. Or one of the other larger brands that's probably going to be below it. So. Oh, good. Okay. D? Yeah, I would say D, yeah. All right. Columbia. On, on the next you brand. Don't, I don't Columbia. know. Columbia. So. Um, I'll be honest. I don't have any Columbia gear. Uh, not for camping, at least. I only know their reputation generally for not camping, also. Yeah. So I have a pair of snowboarding uh, pants. Okay. But besides that, my ex-girlfriend, she has a pair of Colombian, no, uh, Colombia. She has a pair of Colombia pants. I think. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't. Like I don't. I don't Colombian know. pants. Colombian. Um. I mean, you know, Colombian pants for Colombian girl, I guess. All right. <laughs> anyways, anyways, so yeah, Colombia. Don't know much about it, but they make some okay gear, from what I've heard. I don't even know why this is even here, but I think we just asked. I mean, what would you put it on? This is more. This is one of the ones where it's just by reputation, really. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I. I my my thought would be C or B. Yeah, I, I would understand. say C. 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 Okay. Oh, this one. All right. <laughs> I don't know where to put this one. <laughs> what is this? The Colgan? Is it Colgan? I can't. It's. I can't remember the name of the brand, but it's the poop trowel. It's it's the orange poop trowel from Colgan. Kogan, Coughlin, 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 Poop Trow. All right. <laughs> so I don't think you've ever used this one, Owen. No. Because <laughs> you've always managed to like hold your shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to him. <laughs> so I guess I should talk about this. Uh, I don't know. Other people like the Deuce of Spades because they're super ultra light. But honestly, this weighs. I don't know. Maybe one of these days I'll spend thirty dollars on a trowel that I don't need, but, um, you know, I think it is important and responsible to have some sort of trowel. If you are going to go out in the woods, you have to dig a cat hole. I've heard other people or have watched, seen videos of other people saying that you can use your hiking poles to, like, dig one. Um, but I'll tell you what, uh, at least where we hike, it's very, very rocky. Yes. And the the ground can be really dense, so, like, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I wouldn't mess up my own hiking poles for that. Mm -hmm. Um... I think this is just a necessary piece of gear. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's good either. Um, I think it just is. Um, so I don't know. I would put it. I guess I would put it in C tier. Okay. No, I'm not arguing that. 
Darn Tough? I know Ooh. you're an expert in this. No. I really like Darn Tough. I think that they're... I I know not just also, just they have this really good reputation. Mm -hmm. I really like their socks. Um, not for everyday wear. Everyday wear, they're a little too hot. Um, and there's a little too much cushion than is really needed if I was going to work. But they're always... Their quality is always really good. The one downside, I would say, is that... And it's more of a user error thing is that you know when you put them in the wash like you really should probably put them in inside out and you want to air dry them um but which i haven't done and then they start pilling but um they have this like lifetime warranty i mean i haven't tried many i've tried other bands of socks i think it should be a or s um you know when i first tried them it probably would have been s but since there are other ones that are like it I don't know. What, what would your thoughts be? I know you haven't had Darn Tufts before. I think um, by reputation they're S tier, I think. but By reputation, I'm not, I mean, I'm not even 100% sure. To $20 be, To socks. be honest. <laughs> honest. To yeah. be honest. Uh, I don't know. I've always been impartial in terms of socks because I've always had the smart wolves. Yeah. So. How about A tier? I would say A tier is fine. I, yeah. I, I can't I mean, quite this, put them in S tier. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you can justify it by saying that they're the best socks you've ever worn. They are. I can't, but, I don't, I, mean, but I don't know if they're S tier. I just don't know. Okay. For some reason, I feel like... Okay. Do you really think they're A tier? I think they're the best of all the socks that I've worn. Okay. But I don't know that they would count it as S tier. I don't know. <laughs> for whatever reason. Okay. So it doesn't blow your mind. It doesn't blow my mind. Exactly. Gotcha. That's exactly what it means. Okay. All right. A tier. All right. Eagles Nest Outfitters, the hammock stuff. And being that we are hammock, you know, campers, yep. I think we have a pretty good say in how, or what we think the uh, Enos yep. are. Well, this guy got me into the hammock camping, yeah. changed my world. <laughs> Actually, you know what? He has the first hammock. I went out, I was like, you know what? I don't want to sleep on the ground, so I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the war bonnet. Is that how it was? I That's thought how you got it the was. war bonnet first. Yeah, you're probably no, man. you're probably right. Okay. You were like, oh well, I'm let gonna, me try I'm, the spider I'm, I'm, man. Yeah, I'm gonna try I'm That's gonna right. I'm gonna go hammock right. camping. That's right. That's and then right. I was like, damn, I don't wanna lay on the ground anymore. So <laughs> I got the war bonnet and he kept sleeping in a buyers of Maine and then he finally changed over to war bonnet. Not too long ago. Yeah, like a year about ago. About a year ago, yeah. Yeah. And now he finally got the full set. Yep. Top and under quill. Yep. Living, Coming to you. <laughs> living Coming like a me. king. Living like a king. Yep. Anyway. Peasants. <laughs> yeah. Peasants. Ah! <laughs> okay. So, e you know. Nest. So, I've never been in one per se. I I've been in one uh, at REI. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, but true. I've never been, I never slept in it. My take, I think you can get the same hammock yep. on eBay for one fifth of the price or even amazon for one fifth of the price i don't know much about enos but i you know when you feel it and you compare it yeah and you lay in it yeah it's the same thing i would say that they're basic that's what how i would very think very it. basic i would give them just a c C tier. Yeah, yep. we got a lot of C tiers here. We do. I don't know. If, I don't even know if this is gonna fit. I don't know how that's gonna work. It'll. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I guess. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah. E Tech City. Well, this was actually this is a really nice gift that Owen got me, which is this E Tech City, kind of like a Brand X, but still yeah. highly rated on Amazon. Um, uh, stove, mm -hmm. a stove for the isobutane yep. uh, uh, fuel. Mm -hmm. I actually, I really like it. I, I think it's, I think that it punches way above its weight in terms oh, of its, yeah. its like price. Um, it has one of those, it has its own yeah. light, it has its own like ignition piezo system. Lighters. Piezo lighters. It has a piezo lighter, yeah. which, um, you know, some of the other like nicer stoves don't even have. Nope. And it's relatively light. I, I think, I, the only thing, I've only just recently now started having problems with when you screw it in, it spits uh, the isobutane yeah. uh, fuel into my face. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure if that's the actual stove's problem. I think maybe the the, the needle. gasket or something. Or? Maybe the needle is getting weaker. Maybe. You that know? might be true. I mean, either way, I would say it's a... I would say it's a solid B. I would say it's a solid B. Yeah. Yeah. What? What the hell is this? Uh, <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm going to be right back. What? Come on, John. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed it. What the hell is that? 
what in the fuck is that? No, great. I'm going to bleep you out again. <laughs> is that Fitsock? It's a that's, T. That's Fitsock. It's a TNS. It's Fitsock. <laughs> okay, it's Fitsock. <laughs> All Sorry. Right, I think we already wasted like more than enough time with him going over there. Fitsock. We got it from uh, Mass Drop, yep. which is now Drop. Yep. Great socks. I use it every day. Yep. I've been using Great it for socks. the last three years, every yep. day for work. Are you using it? No, Darn not? Tufts. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but I use it every day for work, too. Great. Cheap. Get yourself a pair on Drop. Yep. I would say B. Solid B. B. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Good All to right. go. All right. One of my favorite foods. Yep. Food All brands. Right. Food brands. Food, food so we brands. Have a, so we have okay. something coming up yep. later. Good to go. Yep. Food brands. Uh, they make some of the best foods. Also, some of the most get. expensive, though. Also, oh. most yes, yes, yeah. definitely. I think they around fourteen, thirteen to fourteen dollars yeah. a, a package. And, yeah, and they're I think their serving size are also a little smaller. Too, yes, it's only so. half a serving size, I yeah. think. Yeah. Or is it one? Is it one serving size? They have two different sizes, but like. They have mm. the small and the large, but I think okay. even their large is still like smaller than the yeah. the, the standard, which is the Mountain House. Right, right, right. Mountain right. House is their standard. So you can get a Mountain House, you can get whatever brand that you like, mm -hmm. and they usually all come in with the same amount of calories, right? Mm -hmm. However, you can tell that those other brands, they're 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 camping foods. Yeah, yeah. However, whenever you get a good to go, good to go, yeah. it's almost like it's fresh. Yeah, it Eat, tastes yeah. like. Even even though you put you just put water in it, it tastes like it's fresh. It tastes like the kind of food that you could actually have at home. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, well, would I think A. I definitely think A. Because we're gonna we're reserving the S, yes. S tier for something else yes, in a yeah. second. So All we're right. gonna make it an A. Gossamer gear. Gossamer gear. All right. I know you recently got this. I recently got Gossamer gear is a weird company. Let me tell you what. They will sell you a cook stove set from which they used a. Foster's giant Foster's beer can as part of their cook stove system, and then a little packet that you're supposed to like, like, to strap around your junk so that it cold soaks things. <laughs> They're a very weird company, but they sell tents. <laughs> they sell tents and they sell backpacks. And I haven't had their tents. I hear their tents are also pretty yeah. highly rated too. I just recently got their ultralight backpack, which I'm going to try out. Mm -hmm. It's highly rated. I've walked around in my indoors with it. I think that it's very good quality. It is incredibly light. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that it also... I also don't think that it skimps... It doesn't sacrifice much. It does have an internal frame. Mm -hmm. um, I like some of the... Some of the things that they do, like they have a sit pad that's also part of the... Basically part of the back that's supposed to kind of help with the airflow. So it's like a little egg crate sit pad. Right. Um, and then you can even get a larger one where you can use it as like a half... A sleeping pad, which I what I did. I would say they're probably. This could change, but I would say they're probably A tier. Okay. You know, I would say they're probably A. All right. Yeah. No contest. Granite gear. Granite gear. I don't know too much about it. Which one is this? Uh, the backpacks. Uh, granite gear. Oh, that's right. We just put. I also put this in for shits and giggles. What? What's their? What's their? What would you say their reputation is? I think their reputation is like a little average above average. I would say about B. Yeah. 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 B. Oh, GSI. So many... How We've gotten... You know, it's really weird. Because, you like, know? GS, GSI makes some really decent gear, mm -hmm. right? Their cups, their, you know, cook sets and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I have really... I, I got nothing bad to say about them except that they're not ultralight. Yeah. I would say they're a B. Uh, fair. All right. Now, this is... We're talking about S tier. Here it is. The holy grail yep. of all backpacking foods. Absolutely. S tier foods. All right? The number one, yep. numero uno, yep. favorite food of John and, my, and myself. Absolutely. The good to go, herb, mushroom. mushroom, risotto. Herb, mushroom, risotto. This, I don't think I've ever had anything on the trail as good as this. It, what, I was going to say, in fact, it's so good, we gave it its own category of yes. <laughs> its brand. <laughs> Good to go itself, the brand, is good to go. But this, this is on a whole different level. Like, you can either enjoy this as a soup, you can enjoy this as a risotto, mm -hmm. yeah. you can 
You can eat it for lunch. You can eat it yeah. for breakfast. You can yeah. eat it for dinner. You won't feel sick. Yeah. Even compared it favorably to, I think uh, Trader Joe's has an herb mushroom risotto that's frozen. Right, yes. And that's a frozen versus mm -hmm. even freeze dried. And you even compared it favorably to that. Right. The Trader you know? Joe's uh, mushroom risotto versus this. Yep. It's a little, it's more saltier. It's not as, it doesn't taste as well made. Yep. It was still a good, you know, risotto. Butterier. More but kind of this. Greasy. Yeah. This is the holy grail of backpacking food, yeah. in my opinion. I think it's good. And I don't know, you know, in your opinion as well. I think maybe. it's really good. Yes. I think that definitely, like, that's the type of, the thing is, it's a type of food where, like, some of the good backpackers' pantries are types of foods where you would even maybe eat that um, at home if it wasn't so expensive. Yes. Um, same thing with the herb mushroom risotto. I would eat it at home if it wasn't so expensive and I was, like, using it for camping. Mm -hmm. S-tier. One of our S-tier items. Boom. Definitely. Oh, okay. This is an interesting okay. one. Yeah. Hold us fours. Yeah. Um, when we first, no, towards the middle part of our, yep. well, you know, earlier part of our camping yep. trips, uh, we decided that, you know, we we're going to bring like saws and axes and like whatever, right? Hold us fours. Uh, it's not a Grand Axe. I think that's the other brand. No. I, it's just, it's an axe. It's, it's, an it's axe. a small axe. Um, we only use it like once. Yeah, we only used it once. It's okay. I didn't find much use in it. Yeah. This um, part partially might also just be that we we don't have as much a use for this as others. Yeah. And didn't you also said, I think you also said that you would want to get a bigger one. <laughs> yes, I was just about to say that. Yeah. Like if, if I had a chance to redo all of this and get a new axe i would get a much bigger axe yeah. just for the splitting power this thing's okay to like you know chop a few things here and there yeah. but you're you cannot chop much yeah so i think this is also partially more just for that particular axe yes. mm -hmm. we don't know the other brand the brand like it seems well made it is but the no, axe it is. itself yeah i don't know what would you say <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I find a usefulness for something like this yeah. not actually not useful yeah. because yeah. it just... You know, part of me is thinking we should put it... It's kind of like, it's still well made, but it's not good for what we do anymore. Mm -hmm. Part of me feels like just for its usefulness, you would put it like it below a C tier. Below the C? Yeah, but like it is C tier quality yeah. if you found a use for it. Right, you know? right, right. It's definitely the quality and the cost. Yeah. It's definitely C tier, yeah. but usefulness it sits on a D. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like so. I don't want to, you know. I mean, to be fair, you know, for a brand like Columbia, yeah. we just kind of gave it a C tier, yeah. even though we didn't have it. Yeah, yeah. But we have this. Yeah, and we've used it. And we used it, and the quality is good. So I think it should get at least a C tier. I'd be okay with that. And I think that, like I said, to a certain extent, this is like the Coleman thing where it's like maybe we're being a little unfair because mm -hmm. this is more of a hiking channel now than a full car camping, car camping, bushcrafting channel. Yep. Next brand, I'll make this really quick, yep. Ikea. The only reason why I put Ikea on here is that I got some traveling containers little like with little squeeze top bottles. Mm -hmm. um, you know... They're good for what they did. Uh, I basically used it for keep like uh, wash like things to wash stuff with. But basically, I've stopped carrying any kind of like liquid stuff in general. Like yep. so I think sometimes I use it for um, cooking oil. But like I don't know. I'll put it in D tier. I don't think it's like great. It's not terribly horrible, but it's not amazing. It it's great. IKEA. Yeah. Oh, so this is another big brand. Yep. One of our big hiking big bike hiking camping brand uh, first one of the first stuff uh, oh, yeah. first gears that we got yep yep, yep. kelty mm -hmm. i mean where should i begin it's kelty i mean yep they are they're pretty average they are the most average brand yeah i mean well they're not the most average yeah i think art well i don't want to talk about that yeah they're, they're pretty average yeah you know um, we had the what the cosmic down. We both had the cosmic down. Yep. We also got the tent, the Salida, yes, the Kelsey Salida. Salida. The issue with the cosmic down, the first one was that it was not a YKK zipper, which screwed me over because now my zipper is messed up. So every time you yep. would pull on it, yep. it would always you know snag up. Yep. And the um, the teeth would get misaligned mm -hmm. and things like that. Yep. I personally think 
Kelty's a at best C, you know. It's hovering. Low C. Yeah. It's definitely a low C. It's low C, solid D. Yeah. What do you think? You know, it's a good entry level. It's a good entry level company. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's I tough, mean, right? It is tough. It is like it's hovering between C and D, and I don't know where I would want to put it. Uh, I'm trying to think what other big brands we have around here. I don't know. This is a tough one. I could give it, it a C. It, you know what? It reminds me too much of Alpine Air. <laughs> <laughs> so D it is. D it is. There we go. All right. All right. I, I don't know too much about the, this. The you, next two are, are for me, also yep. as somebody who's a vegetarian. Um, also, I know this is very common and... and, and um, uh, uh, as a kind of cost-saving measure, nor rice sides. So I bought a bunch of more nor rice sides. I think they're actually really good, especially for the price. Um, you know, they taste generally fine. You can generally heat them well enough so that, you know, uh, all the whatever pasta and that kind of stuff comes out like uh, not super, um, super uh, underdone. I think that they're... I think that they're a solid C tier. Okay. And I would also put the next one, which is Kraft, macaroni and cheese in solid C tier as well. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with the C tier. It's starting to get pretty big. Yeah. But we'll figure it out. Maybe it'll expand or something. I don't know. Yep. Um, but yeah, I would say Kraft because I have had macaroni and cheese a couple times. The one problem with macaroni and cheese is that you need to bring a lot of water to drain it. But um, I don't know, maybe Easy Mac they might have or something like that. I just think that that mac and cheese is always just You know what you need? <laughs> you need one of those gelato cans where they oh, cold soak I, it. Oh, and they cold soak it. I can't. So you, you, you need to cold soak, soak the pasta. It. Yeah, I think You're that's right. what you need you to do. You could do cold soak the pasta. All right, on to the next, Life Straw. Oh, boy. Man, were you the one that told me about this? I was the one that told you about this. I can't even remember where I saw it. It's so gimmicky. <sighs> what is it? 18 bucks, mm -hmm. 19 bucks, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, bought it on Amazon. We went out on our first camping trip, and I had a life straw strapped to my neck. Yep. That thing is a piece of shit. Oh, my God. F. <laughs> I would put it on FT. I mean, it's not going to get you sick, but. F. <laughs> it's not. Let's just put it this way. This thing <laughs> is a piece of crap. I'm not going to bend 360 degrees down to suck up some poopy water. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the straw, it's not a good idea. Next one, Light My Fire, which is really more just mine. Yeah. Uh, so I, I got their sporks. I got their plastic sporks. Their plastic sporks are actually pretty good. For a long, long time, I would use them for my lunches, actually, where I eat. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just to kind of, like, save on, like, too many plastic utensils and stuff. Um, cool. I would say that they're a solid... I would say that they're a solid C tier. Oh, yeah. oh these, these are your... Do you know what that one is? This one? Yeah. I have no idea. Okay, I, the Luna bars. These are Luna bars. Oh, what the hell? That was not... The, it's the what? UN. It's the UN. It just says UN. All it's right, Luna bars. Were you, weren't you telling me that Luna bars were, like, for made, made for women? I think that that was the initial... Wasn't that their initial, like, push? Is I don't know. Made for women? First of all, Luna bars are delicious, all right? <laughs> Especially if you get the peanut butter one. The peanut butter one is fantastic. I, I don't know the calories, but it tastes great. I can't say for sure that it's going to be a good trail food. Right? Yeah. Like, long-distance trail food. I'm not talking about, like, you know, if you go out for a day hike, whatever, no big deal. Yeah. But if you're going out for a few days, I can't say that it's going to keep you full, you know, full. Yep. But it is a delicious uh, snack. So better than better than Cliff Bars? Better than Cliff Bars. Okay. Yep. Where would you put them? I would say they're maybe B, you know, solid, solid C, but they could be a B. Okay. So... I would, hey, it's up to you. Right, this man. is one yours. I'll put it as a B. Oh. Okay. Oh, here we go. So, this is his brand ish. Ish. Marmot. Yep. So, I think almost every camp camping uh, video since I got my, what was it, the pre sip jacket, the Marmot pre sip jacket. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the Marmot pre sip jacket's pretty good. The thing is, is also, is that it's breaking down on me, and it's been, what, three years or so? Yep. I kind of expected it to like last a lot longer it the precip jacket had a lot higher um you know like ratings but like the dwr coating went down on it 
Um, Marmot was nice enough to actually Cortex. redo it for me. But well, was nice enough to redo it for me. I know what you just said. Yeah. But again, I'm cheap sometimes. <laughs> so like, I think by by reputation, Marmot is supposed to be like B. Yeah. But my experience has been kind of C, pretty C, ish. You know. It's it hasn't been the greatest since yeah. you've gotten it. So I would probably say C. But yeah. what would you say? I think the reputation is a B. <laughs> reputation, I would say it's like a B minus. So it is still a CB. But, kinda. you know, it would be a solid yeah. C again. I still, like, look, I still plan to wear this yeah. jacket. And I've worn this jacket basically every single day. That's fine. For several years. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I would say it's a it's a C. All right. What are we going to do? I have no idea. Like, we are, our tier list is completely, oh, oh, nope. Nope. No, that's How strange. How does that work? Mm -hmm. Nope. Let's add a row below. And just keep it C. Yep. So this is C. Still C. <laughs> Still C. Wait, how do we edit this? Yeah, label name C. All right. That makes sense, I guess. All right. Still C. Oh no! Oh no! Here we go. All right. All right. What is this one? Oh, Merrells. Merrells. This is a very interesting one. So, I personally really like Merrells. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I really, really do like mm -hmm. their shoes. Mm -hmm. Um. I had two pairs of Moabs, two pairs of All Out Blazes. Moabs, I'm not a big, as big of a fan of compared to the All Out Blazes. They just kept breaking on me and kept breaking on me, and I just said, screw it. I'm just going to go and get another yep. you know, style, yep. which were the All Out Blazes, and I completely love those. You can wear them either on the trail, you can wear them in the city, you can wear them for your daily, you know, work, yep. whatever you want. They look good, uh, they felt good, and I would personally say that they would be a an A tier. Really? Uh, wow. I, I would, okay. but, but, the problem is, Mero, you guys come out with some really funky shoes. I do not want to be wearing clown shoes to go out in the city. <laughs> Nor do I want to be wearing clown shoes to go out uh, on a trail. Now you're you're referencing their new mo. Their yes. New, no, the all not the blazes, Moabs. The, new all -out blazes. the all out blazes. Okay. The uh, forgot which one it was. It started. It starts with an M. Why the hell do I want a pair of shoes that are in olive color? They look yellow. <laughs> the color of pee. It looks like the color of P. I'm wearing the color of P. I don't want that. All right. Why? We're gonna. Ask I would give. I would give it a B. We're gonna at them, but anyways. You. <laughs> yeah. You know, you have a pair of. You, you do have a pair of Merrells. I do. But you have other pairs of shoes from different companies. True. And now you've gone back to Merrells. Explain to the. So why. the thing is, I had a pair of Merrells that I got from Zappos of a model that I can't even remember the name. Mm -hmm. That's how forgettable it was. Okay. And actually the problem for me was that they didn't fit like the the way that the inside of the uh uh the soles were didn't fit my feet. And actually it was a real problem until I got like a relatively cheap insole, a pretty cheap insole um from Amazon and used it then and then they were fine. Mm -hmm. I've used them, they're really good for being uh waterproof. They breathe pretty well. Um, they last a long time. I'm only now getting them re uh, 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 replaced by another pair, brand of Merrells, uh, Moabs. And the thing is, is that for me, they're better. They're a good everyday shoe. Mm -hmm. I don't know that they're the one that I would choose for hiking. I think they're good entry level hiking. Um, for me, I was thinking more B tier. Yeah, um, I agree. For me, I was thinking more B tier. Okay. All right. Minus 33. All right. Do you know which one this is? I have no idea. All right. So this is another one of the ones that I got off of Mass Drop. Um, I actually am surprised people haven't heard about them that much, but they're uh, they're basically, I think, a, um, uh, uh, a uh, merino wool headwear and neckwear company. So they have this Minus 33 beanie, which I really should probably buy another pair of, or another one of, mm -hmm. because... It is an incredibly nice, soft beanie, really soft merino wool. It's always kept my head warm. Again, this is one of the ones that I also wear more daily as well as going hiking. And on like sub, like close to zero or sub-zero temperatures, I'll put that on. I'll put my down jacket on and with the hood. And it's, it's just, it's really good. It's, 
I, I cannot say anything better about it. I don't know that it would be S tier, because again, I don't know what S tier would look like, but I would definitely put it in A tier. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, Mora. Mora. It's Mora. <laughs> Alright, we're going to keep this simple, okay, for Mora. They make really good knives. Yeah. Uh, we had the Mora knife. Um... It's the one the green, the companion, companion, and also I have right now the I think it's like the bushcrafting one. Is it bushcrafting? I don't know. One? I don't they, know. They have one, one called the bushcrafter. Or yeah, it's either the bushcrafter or the black. It's, yeah. it's not the faux tang one. It's yeah. the rat tail tang. Yeah. Um, good knives. What else is there to say? I do you want to put what say what tier you want them to be? Or I think they're B. B. Yeah. I was thinking maybe A. You but, think so? well, I mean, like there are definitely much better knife companies and knives out there. But yeah. they do, they they again they punch above their weight. Like you can baton with a Mora, even though people say you're true. not supposed to. We baton with Mora is actually the Mora in some ways has been a lot more useful for than the halts of force. That's true because we can baton through them uh, with them, and I've never had any problems with them. Um, so I I think okay, that, that are, the, yeah. I would think that they're an A tier. It's surprising, right? Yeah. Again, there are many better knife companies out there. Um, they're they're you know the knife companies that exist out there um whose names i can't remember anymore uh like their knives tend to be bigger they don't tend to be heavier their knives are not as good for something where you just kind of want to if you're a hiker like us you just need something kind of relatively light do some light kind of bushcrafting um yeah stuff so i yeah, that's why i say i would say it's an a okay is that convincing yeah. i would say so right. i would say so simply because like if you want to have Let's just say we were to get another uh, brand of knife, right? Yeah. Do we get a brand where it's like a big company, or do we get a brand that's it's like a small area. cottage, uh, independent worker, yeah. you know, who specializes in making a, uh, a bushcraft or slash whatever knife, right? Because if that's the case, yeah. that person would be an S tier and yeah. not just an A tier. Definitely. So I think being that it, it's such a good knife, A tier is not yeah. a bad place yeah. to put it. Oh, we got a little battery here. Do we? Yep, hold on. It's all good. I got it. Oh, wait. You could fit it. Can I? Yeah. Is it? It's the same one? Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Uh. Oh, we're going to cut this, cutting this. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah, right, yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's good. All right. Sweet. All right. So many opinions. Mora, A tier. All right, next one. Rounding the horn on the M's now. <laughs> All right, our next uh, brand, Mountain House. You know more about this much more than I do. Mountain House, completely the most average uh, freeze-dry food you can get for backpacking. They are the standard. <laughs> the standard. Yep. Can't go wrong with it, but don't expect it to be good-to-go meals. Yes. Okay? Not to say that's a bad thing, but, yes. you know. Yeah. Can't, yeah, nothing, nothing amazing, nothing horrible. They're just a nice standard. Um, I don't know as much about this, honestly, because they don't have vegetarian options, which is odd oh, because they're right, such a big yeah. company. You would think that they would have some vegetarian options, but no. <laughs> they have ice cream, I think. They have ice cream. I think they're mac and cheese, mac and cheese, obviously. Yeah. Um, some of their breakfasts, I think. But even their breakfasts have, like, ham in them. I'm so. torn because I think they're... In terms of quality, I think their quality is, you know, C. It's really strange. Really? In terms of quality, I think they're C. But in terms of being average, I think they're B. Really, I that's interesting to me. I would, I thought you were gonna go for B. I would assume B, but I don't know. Well, what are I, you... I simply because like I think that there's a better meal between uh, good to go yeah. and Mountain House. All right. I, that's the only reason why. So what? It, yeah. I, I I mean, I'll, I I'll, I'll give it a I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B, simply because it's such an average meal. This is your this is your your call because I don't know as much about it. And the next one, MREs. MREs. Oh well, th speaking of C tier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So depending on which MREs you get, yeah, it's either really good, not really good. It's either good or it's just freaking terrible. Yeah. Like the vomlet. Is yeah. That the vomlet, <laughs> uh, vegetable manicotti. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? What else garbage do they, do they have over there? I mean, if, if you get a legit MRE, you can probably make some okay, you know, like cheap jalapeno cheese crackers or yeah. whatever. 
And again, I know nothing about this. This is all right. you. You would be the one who knows more about this. I give anything. it a. I just give it a C. I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore. Okay. Let me see what happens if you put. Oh, oh, it does. Oh. oh. Okay, so we're just gonna delete. Yeah, this right here. screw that. Delete, bro. There we go. Oh, oh sweet. All right. All righty. So. MSR. MSR. What do you think? So, you have the pocket rocket. I have the MSR. Um, was it MSR or GSI? The the giant M cook pan. MSR. It's MSR, right? So you have the I have the pan, cook pan. You have the pocket rocket. Are there any other MSR things that we have? We know about their I have the water filtration. Rocket, the, the deluxe now. Yes. Oh, so you have two pocket rockets. So let's let's talk about the stoves again. Okay. So the MSR pocket rocket, and I have the MSR pocket rocket deluxe as well. So remember, the E-Tech City has that piezo lighter, right? Yes. And now, For the first time, MSR has came out with a stove that has also a piezo lighter. Well, I don't know if it's the first time. It's the small, you know, personal stoves. It has a piezo lighter. Mm -hmm. Now, this thing costs, I think, like 60 bucks. The E-Tech one was like 14 bucks at wow. most, I think. Do I personally think that it's worth it to buy the Pocket Rocket uh, Deluxe? Part of me is like, ah, uh, you know, you can get the E-Tech, you know, and it, and it, for the last couple of years has worked perfectly fine. So I think that really comes down to a personal opinion. I think they'll both perform okay, but the only difference between the E-Tech and the Pocket Rocket Deluxe is that it has a regulator on it. Yeah, you said, that's right. So you can apparently, allegedly, as per, you know, MSR, you can take the fuel down a little bit lower, yeah, and you can also simmer. It's like fine tune it. Yes, yeah, so you can I simmer. Gotcha. So, it might be worth it. It might not be worth it. I think MSR makes decent stuff. Yep. Um, they're quality items. Yeah. I personally think they're just a B. Sounds. I think I would say B. They are the gold standard for like mm -hmm. camp stoves, unless mm -hmm. you want to go with an alcohol stove. Yes. Ugh. Anyways. All right. Yeah. I don't know anything about this. This is Nike. Like <laughs> so there you go. You're wearing, I'm wearing Nike. I think they make okay gear. Uh, are they worth the price? As in like, you know, the $25 for a t-shirt? Yeah. If you don't know too much about it, then I'm just going to give my verdict. I think it's a C. Okay. All right. You don't know what this one I is? I have no <laughs> idea what this is. And this is. is also another one of the logos that was chopped off. You know, this website really should like auto size this stuff. But whatever, it's also way shady. This website that we're using is way <laughs> shady. Their terms, it was it their their privacy yeah, policy led it, led to a is led to a found not found website. Yeah. So this is North by North. Um, Again, this is another company through uh, uh, Mass Trap. I don't know much as much about them. Basically, they make merino wool versions of buffs. Um, and I bought this again because I I don't I think there was another merino wool buff that I I couldn't find again. Um, this one's good. I like it. Um, it's a little scratchier, um, and I can't say that it was very expensive or cheap. I would say it's a solid B. I, I still really like it. I'm not going to argue that. All right. This one mine, Oboes. Mine as well. So Owen has heard me for the last three years forever. Even though I have completely different pair of shoes, yep. for the last three years, just completely different brand of shoes that I wear. I have been harping on to Owen constantly about how much I like oboes. Um, the only reason that I gave them up is because they're heavier shoes, and being a smaller guy, I just it, it just makes a lot more sense to wear a lighter shoe. But they're so well built. They're always they're so well built. Really, really, really good traction. Mm -hmm. um, they probably they seem like they last a long time. But the really big thing about oboes, which everybody talks about, is how comfortable they are on the inside. They, like, the second that I first put them, and I think it was the Oboe's uh, Bridger, I think that's the name of the brand, I'm not, ex or the model, I can't remember. But it's just like, it felt like somebody had made a shoe straight for my foot. I, I don't know how they did it, but it's amazing. And, you know, people basically say that, you know, you're basically getting that and getting a pair of super feet on the inside, uh, insoles, which I've never used, but I really like them. You know, I have mixed feelings, like I said, because they are heavier, and that's why I ended up stopped using them. But I've, I've never, I've never had a shoe that was this like comfortable. Um, the only thing, like I said, was that it was heavy. And I would put it in an A tier. What would you say? 
Um, I think you've tried oboes before. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've tried them. Never at REI? No. Sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you think they're A tier, then I would I'll say put, I'll put them at A, a tier. Even if even if they are like a little heavier for me, they're just they're so good. Okay. Um, you know. I mean, by reputation, they are really good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So oh, on okay. to the next one. Uh, one of the bigger brands in this whole entire uh, yeah. tier making. Another bigger brand. Yeah. Yes. Osprey. Yep. Yep, it is probably one of the most popular brands that you will see on the trails. Mm -hmm. um, they make all sorts of, you know, gear, not just for hiking, camping. They make for, like, traveling as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you have two backpacks for them, right? Me? Yeah, don't you have a smaller Osprey? I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have, a, I have a, uh, an Osprey mm -hmm. a Aether 65 liters. Yep. Or 65. Uh, and also have a uh, Osprey Daylight. Mm -hmm. Um they got an outstanding warranty. Mm -hmm. uh, their quality is really good. Um, you're not gonna find anything better or worse. I guess you could find something better, obviously, yeah. but you know, for a standard back, for, like a non-ultralight yeah. backpack, mm -hmm. they're really good. They're bombproof. Yes, and I said to you, right? They're crusty punk approved, as yes. far as I have seen in the city of New York. Mm -hmm. Yep. And for those that don't know who the Krusty Punks are, they're just a bunch of people who have, they don't want to be in whatever home that they're in, and yep. they, they leave, they're pretty much like hobos. Yep. Right? They, they get on a train, and they just go where, wherever they want to go. Yep. You know, I mean, I don't know them personally, and I think that's what they're doing, but, yep. you know, if they have the pack, yep. and they completely destroy their gear, and the pack is still there. It is. That pack is a good pack. Yeah, it is. And a lot of times it is an Osprey. So, what do you, would you say? B, A? I would say it's a B pack. I would say it's B, yeah. yeah. Again, our tastes are a little bit more on the like lighter, ultralight side now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one. <laughs> <laughs> recently did a video on this. Well, recently or several years ago, depending upon. Yeah, yeah. There was a new video that was out, except... That new video was made seven years ago. I mean, several years ago. Yeah. So, outdoor herbivore. Um, again, I'm a vegetarian. I've been trying to find some vegetarian um, options for foods, and you know, I heard this brand, outdoor herbivore. You know, smaller kind of mom and pop brand. So, I wanted to try them out. I bought a whole bunch of their um, meals, and I think it is telling that I really only got. I I still have meals of theirs that I threw away. I think I bought like four meals and I ate two of them. Neither of them were camping. Both of them were bad. <laughs> so the first one was what the the one that I actually that we released was the chickpea chickpea uh, penne penne you know, chickpea penne um whatever sauce uh uh it's a green sauce. Right? Yeah green sauce. Yeah so what is that? Base? Uh, no 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 um, <sighs> oh man no. Anyways, yeah, it's a chickpea penne sauce, with with the, the sauce that we can't remember the name to, which we'll put we'll put on the on yeah. the title. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Except we're ba not. <laughs> basically, they suck. Um, no offense, to Alvador herbivore. Maybe it's it's better for other people's taste, but I found the taste to be very bland. The cooking instructions both times undercooked everything. Um, the I think I had like a breakfast thing with their omelet scramble. The omelets did not taste any good. Um, you needed salt, and even with the salt packets they uh, they add, they had there, didn't really do much for the flavor. It was not good, and the portion size weren't good. So this is F, another one of our oh, F tiers. Wow, I would say it's an F tier. Holy right? crap! All right, all right. I mean, I, look, I, I've never had it, but John, he eats anything, and he doesn't <laughs> really true. care. And for him to say that this is not a good uh, backpacking meal mm -hmm. says a lot yeah. they cost a lot of money yeah. they don't taste really good like i would have a norrice side over it any day okay. of the week. <laughs> so fair enough okay the next one is going to be outdoor research uh they make gear such as like they, they make gloves jackets they make jackets such as the helium too yep. um beanies i think they make they make a lot of clothes they make, yeah they make yeah. a lot yeah uh the military also uses them oh, okay. i think they i don't I, they used them when i was there I don't know if they use them anymore, but they do. So this is, again, um, a little more by reputation, because we don't yeah, actually own... Right. I, I just bought an Outdoor Research Helium 2, but mm -hmm. it's not with me yet, so... Um, the last 
item that I had that was from you know outdoor re uh, research. Uh, it was a pair of gloves mm. for work. Mm. I thought they were gonna keep me warm, but they did not. So I think it's a C. Um, just for the gloves, though. I don't know how you feel about everything else. I think by reputation they're a little better than a C, but mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I'd be willing to kind of go with a C. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, for I'm now. Trying to think of any other clothing brands that they Columbia, yeah, Columbia and Outdoor Research are probably about the same. So yeah, I'd yeah. say a C. All right, what's this one? Oh, oh okay. Yes, here we go. So this is again more by reputation, but I think that we're in safe hands in terms of where we're going to rate this one. Yeah. It's Ozark Trail. Yeah. That is, and for those of you guys who don't know, that is the Walmart brand of camping gear. Um, we haven't had experience with it, but I can't imagine that it's, they're all that great. What do you think? We haven't had experience, but we've watched a lot of people mm -hmm. who had experience with it online. Oh, you know? really? Yeah. Maybe you have. I can't, well, I can't yeah, remember. Well, you know, yeah. well, every time we make fun of somebody, you know, it's always going to be... They have yeah. Ozark Trail. Yeah. Sorry, Walmart. Oh, man. Uh... Watch, watch, watch our mouths saying this. Again, again, just like Coleman, they make everything. Mm -hmm. Just like Coleman, mm -hmm. it's okay if you're going car camping. Yeah. Um, but if you're trying to do something else, prepare to carry, I don't know, a 10 pound tent or something like that, because yeah. that's how much they weigh and watch our mouths with this i was gonna say adventure archives probably gonna have a bunch of ozark trail stuff I on know. them no no they have they have kelty yeah hopefully <laughs> which is really sad because kelty's right now is sitting in the same location that we might have to give this guy oh so we're gonna you're thinking d tier i was thinking f but <laughs> you know what you want to give it a benefit of the doubt i want to give it the benefit of the doubt because you know coleman is there it's fair you know, I, I, and we I haven't, we can't we really, haven't really yeah. slept in one. We can't make it F tier if we haven't ever like that's yeah. a little unfair and biased. It is okay. It's got to be real All right. shite. All right, in order for it to be <laughs> <D> tier, <laughs> it's got to be real shite. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be complete <laughs> shite. So we so we're going from almost complete shite <laughs> to the opposite end of the spectrum here. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is the this is the brand that brings out all of our uh, fancy man laughs. This is the, <laughs> <laughs> this is the brand, okay, that I'm always talking about with John. Yeah. All right. Always talking about it. Like you know, in in, in one reference or another, I'm always talking about it. Yep. This brand is Patagonia. Patagonia. It's a great this brand. Is, this is not the Alex Arnold brand. North Face. That's, that would be North Face. Yeah. But this is the brand of everybody else, including all the hipsters, including all the, yeah. you know, really rich, yuppie people. Including all the other people in including all the Free one, Solo. In, <laughs> including all the, yeah, all the other people in Free Solo. Yep. And including, you know, my own uh, wannabe rich, you know, ass. Yep. So, Patagonia. I personally think it is a... Uh, by reputation, by warranty, yep. by uh, quality, yep. I think it is a, a top brand, a top tier, yep. uh, S as an S. However, I'm also thinking it's an A. So I will, I will, I will put the stamp of approval on the S because my down jacket is Patagonia. Oh, okay. All right. Also, I was going to say, fun drinking game. Every time you see something made out of Patagonia on uh, on on Free Solo, take a drink. That's true. See where see where that gets you. I think that they're definitely S tier, okay. and I think they deserve our seal of approval okay. and our uh, fancy laugh uh, seal of approval. Uh, ah! So peasants. <laughs> yes, you don't even, you don't have Patagonia <laughs> peasants. How horrible for you. Ah! <laughs> Go, man, servant. Yes. Get me my Patagonia. So, <laughs> so one yeah, note anyways. about one note about the actual Patagonia jacket that I have. It's really good. Yes. It's incredibly light. Um, the down again. I'm a vegetarian. Um, I kind of had to compromise with camping because unfortunately, there's no synthetic better than down. But at least their down is like rely is uh, responsibly sourced. Yep. Their stuff lasts forever, forever, mm -hmm. and I use it every single day. And no matter where I am, I don't know how this works, but no matter where I am and what temperature I'm in, unless it's like generally hot temperatures, 
that ja that that jacket always keeps me at the right temperature. I don't know what it is, and I use it all the time, not just camping. It's great. And that's why it is an S tier. That's why it's S tier. All right. Yeah. All right. On to the next. We are going to be talking about uh, the Platypus filter, or Platypus brand. Yeah. Are they mostly? They're mostly just water filters, right? I, I'm not 100 percent sure, and but like you know, and stuff. they're mainly water yeah. stuff. Water company. Yeah. Uh, I'm currently using the 4.0 liter uh, platypus gravity filter. I think it is a fantastic filter. Um, the flow rate is great. Not that it matters because it's a gravity filter and it is mm -hmm. supposed to be for a large group. Uh, however, I'm just using it for myself and for John. Yep. Um, the last time we did use it. Oh, it works well. It, yeah. Well designed. Well designed. It, yeah. it got it got us the water as yeah. you know. We didn't have to wait. It just as soon as we you know filtered it. I mean, as soon as we got in the dirty bag, yeah. which is a great design because the the, the mouth is really wide. Mm -hmm. so you just scoop it in, and next thing you know, mm -hmm. attach it to the filter, and you're yeah. good to go. Yeah. Um, they also make water bladders. But you do. said their water bladder wasn't that great. Their water bladder is okay. Yeah. Um, speaking of Camelback again. For whatever reason, yeah. Camelback had it, you know, had it got locked down. Yep. The the flow rate in the Camelback hoses, mm -hmm. perfect. Yep. You can yep. just, you know, sip yep. on it and you're good. Can't say that for platypus. I just gave up. I tried it out. I just threw it away. Yep. I just yep. I cannot deal with it. But their filters are amazing. Yep. So what would you put them at? I think they're an A. You think they're an A? I, I think they're an A simply because of the simplicity and... You can trust it. Huh. I wasn't sure if they would be a B, but A because of just the water filter itself is that good. Right. Yes. Okay. I th I think if you can trust it, then it would be because this you got to remember this is water. This is really important. And, and it's and you know the interesting thing about the the platypus one is that mm -hmm. even though it's heavier, like you could arguably still carry it even if you're going on like a pretty long hike. Because um, it's not that much heavier, and it's so much easier than mm -hmm. um, maybe going get into this when we talk about the Sawyer, but it was easier than Sawyer. Yep. Um, so, anyways, I would say I think that's a choice, it, though. Yeah. If it, you if you like to have a smaller, you know, compact, uh, squeeze and go to yep. get your drink. Yeah. Yeah. Then you know a Sawyer is not a bad idea, but you know for something like this, once we're in camp, we're filling out water. Yeah. You know. So what would you? Say? I would. I think since you know about more about this, I think A is fine. I think I think it's an A. Yeah. But you know, we can reserve that a change in the future if sure. you decide something else. We'll have like a re remix of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So this is one of our uh, favorite brands. Yep. Um, Started by you. I took a chance and I bought a pair of Pranas. Yeah. What are they called? They're Prana. There's a the a Prana. Uh, Ooh, the Zions, the Stretch Zions. There we go. Yeah. So the Prana Stretch Zions, right? Mm -hmm. I think they kind of market it as a everyday pair of pants. They don't really market it as like the the ultimate hiking pants. Yeah. But since I've gotten it, I've either worn it to work or I've worn it hiking, and I think I bought these like about five years ago. And only recently yep. have I changed out to a new pair. Not yep. because they broke, simply because I personally made a mistake and yep. I put a hole through it by right. burning. Uh, uh, I, I was making feather sticks and then I just totally looked the other way and next thing you know, a piece of the feather landed on my pants and then I caught on fire. You know, that's the one thing that I forgot to put in is the Zundin Fundin. Oh, the man. We'll, we'll, we'll do this at the end, but whatever. What's yeah, the name yeah. of this? Yeah, like fire and yeah, yeah, yeah. some sort of fire steel. It's, it's like a fancy steel. German fire steel. <laughs> Anyways, back to Prana. I happen to be wearing a pair of yes. Zion pants right now. Yes. In Park Ranger Green. Mm -hmm. uh, so. So, what I do you think? think quality is top notch. Yeah, All I right? would say so. I think, in terms of weight, yeah, uh, it's been maybe average. Sure, but I mean, like, also they're clothes, so they're not that bad. Yeah. For weight. Uh, very durable. They're very durable. Very durable. Surprising for how Water resistant they are. to you know? a certain extent. Um, you can be on your knees, let's just say making feather sticks yeah. or making your food. I've never seen, no, no yeah. scratches. I've never seen any No abrasions. holes. 
nothing. They're really good quality. These are the pants that you want to get, that you want to invest in. All right. I would say it's an A. Okay, I would say A too. Rab, you don't know anything about it? No. Uh, not so much. I don't know any much. Um, do you have any? I do have a, a pack rab. of it. I, no, I have a rab. I have, as a matter of fact, I have a uh, the jacket. Oh yeah. The Xenon yeah. X. I don't know if they make that anymore. I think they still do, but. So the Xenon X um, is a synthetic jacket, unlike his down jacket from Patagonia. Um, how heavy is yours? I can't remember. Okay. I think it's like 13 ounces or something like that. So Rab is not, it's not heavy. It's, it's, yeah. it's made of uh, Prima Loft G, I think. Prima Loft Gold. And it is, a, it is a very warm synthetic jacket. I would like to say that it sits around the AB range. Um, this is your call, I yeah. To be honest, I think, I you know I'm not trying to say that everything that I buy is great. I do believe <laughs> that, <laughs> I do believe that it it does keep you warm. Yeah. And is it A maybe, but it's a solid B. Solid B. We'll say B high B. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, top ramen. <laughs> we both have experience. Who doesn't have experience with ramen? <laughs> Oriental flavor for me. Love those Orientals. Mm. <laughs> can't and, can't say that anymore, man. <laughs> well, yeah, now they call it something, but it says no, same a, Oriental yeah. <laughs> flavor on it. Uh, that's top one. Yeah, top ramen. So I put this in there because uh, I do have eaten ramen on the trail. I actually think that ramen tastes amazing on the trail. I think it's your taste salt, changed. Man. It's a salt. Your you're taste changed when you're hiking. MSG. I, so I long story short, I think it's a solid C, okay. which is a sad thing to say for Alpine Air that Top Ramen <laughs> will beat it. So I'm just gonna throw that out there, but I'd say it's a solid C. You agree? I agree. Okay. Uh, I would say it's pretty, you know, average. Yeah. You yeah. know, kind of just there, but it's not like the greatest thing ever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. But this, this is the great. This is the most average thing you can get. I would say a little bug, but yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's it's there. It's like you know, it's an average brand. Yeah. But it's the standard. It's a standard. It's another standard. Yes. Another big company. Mm -hmm. um, so if you realize that we went, we're in the R's, you might mm -hmm. guess which one this is, or you just see from the graphic we're putting up, this yep. is... It's a REI. Yep. <laughs> Co-op. So REI makes everything. They make everything they, in general, more even than just hiking and camping, yep. right? <laughs> they are a... Uh, they're everywhere, right? Yep. They oh. have really good ultralight yeah. tents, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. They got um, ultralight tents. They got pretty good jackets. Jackets and clothes. Uh, yeah. The clothes are pretty well made. Mm -hmm. Amazing warranty. Yep. You know, was it one year warranty? Yep. You can return it whenever. Yep. Please don't abuse the system yep. because that's terrible. I do not want to go into a garage sale and see an old. Not, hey, an, no, uh, wait. What was a the semi new one? pair of boots? Uh, I think they were like rain boots, but they all had mud. It's all mud and crap. Yeah, on them. it's like why do people do that? Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, you can return it. They're not gonna ask you a question, but it's kind of, you know, really messed up. It is. Whichever at least, way. At least, if you fucked it up, at least clean it. Yeah, at least clean it. Yeah. Whichever way though, yeah. REI. Uh, we don't really need to delve too much yeah. into it. I'd say solid B. I would say solid. Because they are above average. They're a little cut above average. Yeah. There we go. Oh, so this, this interesting. Is, this is an interesting one because this is the one that you have. Yep. Which you only use limited for for hiking. hiking this is my camping. shoes. My new shoes, which you might... Did you get a pair? Or no? I did get a pair. Oh, okay. There we go. This is why we're making this tier list. Because we, we, uh, we made America great again. <laughs> by... <laughs> I did get a pair, but they have not came in yet. Yes. Yeah. So it's the brand we're talking about is Salomon. Yes. And um, because my oboes were heavier, I went through a very long period of actually trying to find another pair of shoes. I went through Merrill's. I looked through... I first went through the low top Salomons, uh, and I can't remember the name of this particular model, but it's one of their main uh, models. So I have a, I think, mid top uh, pair of Salomons. Mm -hmm. I would say that they are the best shoe for me, as much as I still love Oboes. Mm -hmm. They are the best shoe for me because they're light. Um, the sole, they don't have that amazing, oh my god, my foot's being massaged by angels uh, <laughs> in sole, but light. Durable. I'm sure that they probably wear out a little bit faster, but I've found them perfectly fine, um, and they're very comfortable. Uh, I think that they're a really good brand. Uh, I, I didn't like the low tops because they had the weird uh, 
the the drawstring thing where you oh, like yeah. cinched it down. I just didn't like the way that it made me feel. I want a little more control that's, that's over. That's what the REI, yeah. um, the sales associate yeah. said. You know, yeah. it's at our hit or miss when yeah. it comes to the the, the, the the drawstring one. Yeah, but I don't know. I would put them. I would put them in solid B tier, maybe a little higher. By reputation, yeah. A. Yes, by reputation, because these are some of the best known uh, pairs of yep. boots that, yep. whether you're a through hiker, yep. regular hiker, you know, they've got you covered, right? They, they got you covered. Yeah. Uh, it's like I said earlier, I love Merrells. You know, I was I have like multiple pairs, and I always tell all my friends, hey, if you're gonna buy a pair of new boots, yep. get a pair of Merrells, yep. right? And tons of my friends have gotten Merrells. Now, for me to end up purchasing a pair of Solomons after trying it out at REI, it says a lot. Yep. You know, yep. like I, I really like the way it felt. Yep. Yep. I really like the way it felt. And again, as per reputation, I will put it as an A. I don't have the experience going out on the yeah, trails I mean, though. I don't know. I'm a little torn. I think it's like high B or low A. Mm -hmm. um, like I, I've said, you know. If I were to do a through hike on the AT, I would probably just get Salomons forever until I found something else. Okay. So they really are, they're like a potential. I don't know. I but something stopping you from doing saying it's a. Uh, well, I, you know what? Like Oboes is in the A range. Huh. I, you know what? They were both A. I would say they're actually okay. both A. I just Oboes a little higher. That's what that was for me. <laughs> Even though I'm not wearing them, I don't know what it is that it did to me. But <laughs> it just felt good. It's just it felt like really there's, good. A, there's yeah. a weight it's limitation weight issue. to it. Yeah, one day, if, Oboes, if you can one day make a lighter uh, shoe, I'm just going to switch right back to you and it will be an S tier. <laughs> All right, I think this is a, this is a John. Yeah, uh, it's another, another cost-cutting measure by yes. me. Or I got a, uh, I don't even remember the brand, but off of Amazon, blue, looks like a yoga mat, sleeping pad. I actually, I think they're, I'm going to put them in B, but they're C tier. I mean, they're, they're fine. I've had some damage on them, but they've worked perfectly fine for me. They're re it's actually very, very light. Um, but yeah, C tier. <laughs> C tier. All right, next one. Do you know this one? What yeah, this Sawyer. Sawyer. So we've got a couple Sawyer things of different. Picardin, Permithian. Yeah, they also have the Perithian, water. The water. Uh, well, we're going to get, well, I'm going to get the oh, Sawyer the squeeze filter, soon. the filter. The Sawyer squeeze soon, mm -hmm. uh, which again, very good reputation. Yes. It's another standard. Mm -hmm. Um... um it's hard to know with the Picard and the Permethrin. Yeah, I mean, I've always used like 98% D. I know you don't like to use it because it's, it's going like, to melt all of our it's stuff. It's like cancer causing or some shit. No, it's going to melt all of our plastic that stuff. That is true. That is true. <laughs> but I've used 98% D to a pretty good effectiveness. Uh, mosquitoes don't bother me. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll fly around, gnats and stuff like that, but they don't generally bother me after I put it on. However, you know, due to some constant, uh, I don't want to say complaints by John yep. about using it, I've switched to getting Picardin. Which, well, uh, I mean, you know, when I say, said I, I switched, I mean, like, you know, I bought some yeah. for both of us to use. Yeah. And, well, the last time we went, I, I was did. the only one using it. And this and guy didn't. decided he didn't want to use it. And then he ended up looking like he was gonna die from you know mosquitoes attacking so him. It did not. It did kind of work, didn't it? What? On like the most mosquitoy day that we've ever seen, the Picardin or the Picardin did work kind of. <sighs> you weren't getting bit up as much. I would say I would say there was like, you know, maybe like an eighty-ish percent yeah. effectiveness. Again, that was a mixture of this was that the buggiest also, day. The Permithian. Yep. This was such a buggy day that we... I don't even think that we video... Like, we didn't tape it. It was no, so tired. No, no, we were yeah. so tired. Have you seen the movie 300? Because if you've seen the movie 300 when they launched the arrows and it got dark, <laughs> that was, was how many was like, mosquitoes there were. It was kind of... It was like... It was bad. I, I don't know. Have you ever told the story where I sat down? No, like I a, like. I, I tell everybody about it, but I've never, we've <laughs> well, never maybe recorded Maybe save that for another time. Yeah, I think we should. Okay, so Sawyer, where are we putting it? B. B? I would say B. Okay. Because they also have the the, yeah. the, the water filter, yeah. which is very popular. C to Summit. C to Summit, I personally think it's a, uh, I think it's a B tier. Um, okay. They make some, like you said, they made some uh, good 
uh, dry bags. Oh, that's right. That's the one that I got. The dry bag. I really do like their dry bags. Yeah, they make some. They make some decent dry bags. Yeah. Uh, again, with hammock, uh, hammock guys, they made a super ultralight hammock. Oh, I didn't know that. However, lots and lots of mixed reviews, hmm. uh, saying that it's not durable at all. So, okay. not that it's gonna be a knock against Caesar Summit, but you know, I think it's a B tier. I think it's B. You have anything else you want to say before? I... No. No. Okay. We don't know as much. Okay. Well, oh, this is this is one of your guys. Final stretch. Yep. So this is the uh, Self Reliance Outfitters. It's the uh, what the hell is that name of that guy? Uh, whatever. It's one of the. It's, a, it's this guy who's on TV who is like one of the survival on one of those survival shows. I can't even remember his name. I even subscribed to his YouTube and I still can't remember his name. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just take a look at this for a second. But anyways, long story short, I actually got a lot of, initially got a lot of, like, the, uh, the uh, like, tips for what to buy from this guy, and <laughs> it hasn't kind of turned out as much as I'd, like, It liked. ended up all being heavy. It, it is heavier, because, like, he is a camping, bushcrafting guy. He's, With, he's not just a bushcrafter, he's a survivalist. Yeah, he's a survivalist whose name is York Sprob. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> it's, hold on. I'm gonna go, this, I'm sorry for this horrible... This horrible, like, long... Where the hell is this guy's thing? Uh, maybe he deleted his channel. Uh, maybe, no, I don't think so. I think that he also ended up getting kicked off of that show because he lied on his uh, on his resume. Don't lie on your resume, people. That's not a good oh, idea. Oh, it's Les Stroud. No, it's not Les Stroud. Les Stroud didn't lie, lie on his resume. No? No. Oh, crap. I'm going to just look it up right now. Uh... <sighs> Anyways, what do you think is... So stuff. the the big thing the big thing was that I got his um his cup it was like a GSI cup, um, and so, the fuck is it what's this guy's name um Dave Canterbury that's his name Dave Canterbury, <laughs> um, Dave Canterbury lied on his resume mm -hmm. um anyways, uh, <laughs> my point is I got his cup I thought it was really interesting there were a lot of interesting little features to it, um it was all stainless steel construction. It had um, like little things to. It had little holes to strain stuff out of if you want to strain it. Um, it had the nice like butterfly handles so you could kind of grip pretty well. Um, really, really durable. Um, a lot holds a lot of water. Uh, I like that the cup is like a nice. The the lid has a nice little pressure fit onto it. It's just a little heavy. Mm -hmm. um, again, I, a couple years ago I probably would have rated higher. Um, I think it's really well constructed for what it is. I'm gonna say C, just because it's a little heavier, but it is very good. Again, if you're more of a camper, really good, good quality. Lots of interesting little features that you could get into. Just not, not what I would be doing now. <laughs> not gonna argue that. Smart wool. Smart wool. You got experience? No. Oh wait, I do have experience. I actually have a smart wool shirt. The PhD light <laughs> shirt or whatever the fuck they call it. Oh, whatever they call oh it. I thought you meant like a t-shirt. I was going to be like, uh... <laughs> no, okay. it, was a, it was a shirt for runners. Yeah. So my experience, you have better experience with this, but my experience was I bought the shirt again off of Mass Drop. Um, I like it. It's good. Merino wool. Uh, I don't know if I didn't follow the washing directions, but like the first time that I... Op that I... No, 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 no. What it was is that it started pilling. Mm. It started pilling when I uh, used it and wore it with the backpack. Now, I guess it's supposed to be a running shirt, so maybe that's wrong, but it started peeling in the back where my back would abrade against the backpack. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I don't know what tier it would be, but what, what do you think? You have the Smart Wolf shirt socks, so. Um, I, think they got, I think they make some really good socks. Mm -hmm. uh, they're comfortable, you know, they don't, they last a while. Yeah, fits, can't, I yeah. can't say it's an A sock. Is it like a fit sock? Because that's B all there. I would say, yeah. you know what? Being that fit sock is a B, I probably would have to put it as A. Okay, so it's still I, a. I, I would say, I would say, I, I would say it's a really solid B, and it's high B, low high B, A, low A. So what, what, what would you think? A. I would say A. All right, A. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's not take too long for this one. Stanley. Stanley. Stanley cup set. Stanley cook set. I don't even have it. You have you know this better than I do. I want to say 
It is a C, right off the bat. It is a C. Why not D? It's not going to be D simply because you can use... So, for example, the, the cup set that I had, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It came with a few plastic cups, which yeah. I discarded right away because I'm not using that crap yeah. Yeah. in the yeah. field, yeah. right? But the actual uh, cup itself, yeah. the, the metal part itself, yeah. right? Yeah. It holds a lot of water. Yeah. It has a good lid. Okay. It has a good handle. It's got the strainer thing. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a good cup. So it's kind of like it's like the Dave Canterbury thing. Yes. Where it's good cup. It's yes. all steel metal. It's all steel construction. And it was cheap. Yeah. It was cheap. The biggest thing about that cup was the lid. Yeah. It had a plastic. Yeah. Uh, yep. Where you put the little ring yes. instead. The mm -hmm. plastic on the top, which would melt. Yep. Yep. So if you're cooking it over fire, it's not going to work out very well. Yep. So what you had to do was you had to modify it and put your own key ring on it. And that really helps. Because yep. then you can just lift it, put it in the fire, whatever you wanted to do, and it would be safe. Yep. You know? So I would make it, I would say C. C. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Again, you know more about this brand than I do. Another common brand. All right. So. But we're reviewing specifically for hiking purposes right? for hiking purposes yes yeah. all right so i i love coffee i love bringing coffee on it on the trails uh first thing in the morning is we make the fire we get the fire going if there's a fire or we just use a stove um and then we make a nice cup of coffee not we don't really make tea but you know we make a nice cup of coffee whether it's black uh whether it has creamer and sugar whatever we still make that cup of coffee one of the brands starbucks their uh their powder whatever you call it the little powder. instant coffee instant coffees. uh via yeah. via instant coffee from starbucks i think by itself as a black coffee it's a pretty good black coffee i give it a solid b okay right it could be a lot better if they included creamers and sugar yes. which we'll get to in another yes. another another common brand so i'm not yeah. gonna i'm not gonna talk too much about it but starbucks does make some decent coffee yeah uh, people won't agree with it. I don't really care because I enjoy it. But it is a beach tier. I no no uh, no uh, arguments there. So I don't know this brand. I'm not actually well, sure why this is on here. <laughs> so this brand, Superior Wilderness Design, SWD. Oh, that, that's your backpack. Sorry. Yes, I I, I use that as uh, my backpack. I have the 50, uh, 50 liter haul. It's so it's down there somewhere. Yep. Um, it uses S X pack. Uh, you can you can get different strength depending on like you know which part of the pack you want to reinforce yeah. highly customizable highly customizable you yeah. can do whatever you want to it you can add you know uh, the bear canister straps you can take it off you can you know request for certain items to be placed on mm -hmm. uh, you can add extra pockets to it uh, it's a it's a great pack it's lightweight uh, it's the beginning of ultralight for myself and for John, even yep. though he uses Gossman gear, but it is the, the trail to ultralight. Yep. Um, so far, so good. That's all I can say. Um, I haven't taken it out as much yep. because I've been using like a whole bunch of other little packs here and there, but uh, averaging in around like 22 pounds. Yep. You know, I'm not talking about base weight, I'm talking about like full weight. Averaging around 22 pounds, it still feels absolutely uh, great. It feels light, no problems. The only concern that I have is, um, I'm, the only thing I really don't like too much is just the, the strap material that they use. Oh, some for the, the for the front straps. Just some of the straps, they yeah. don't feel like they're, they're super thick. quality. Yeah. You know, they don't feel like the Osprey. Uh, straps oh, like half inch level of uh, yeah it's like the tightness cushioning. the tightness yeah. of the, the knitting yep. you know yep. doesn't feel right but yep. you know only time will tell yep. I think I personally think it's an A yep. uh, I, I don't have any opinions let's we'll, we keep it as an A I guess one cool thing about this is that we can kind of go back here mm -hmm. and uh, you know reevaluate these things I guess one thing about these ultralight backpacks too is that they're probably not going to be uh, crusty punk approved because mm. you know they're just not going to be as durable uh, also they don't carry as much stuff. Not, that's right so yeah if you're a crusty punk you can't carry as mm -hmm. much stuff um, but the next one though oh so i actually have the all the experience with well we both do 
but the Survive Outdoors Longer brand um, is a brand uh, where they actually do uh, a bunch of sort of survival stuff. The Escape Bivy is a big one that I have. As I talk, it's like it's basically a giant pizza bag that you put mm-hmm. in yourself in. It's the very first thing that I used. Rather than having a sleeping bag, I had the Survive Outdoors Longer Escape Bivy. Um, and I still use it, oddly, from time to time if I need to add like a couple degrees to my bat- my uh, Kelty. Um, and I do think that it actually does help add a couple degrees to that. It's just such a big pain in the butt to get them all nested inside each other. One other thing that the Survive Outdoors Longer does, which I forgot, Survive Outdoors Longer makes those flammable cubes that we use. Oh. So there have been times that we've, it has been hard to make a fire. We needed to use those cubes in order to make a fire. And so I actually think that that has been very, very helpful for us. Um, I would say that they're a solid B because uh, they're very useful. Okay. All right. No, that makes sense. Yep. I think that makes sense. Another, oh, this is... This, this, <laughs> this is something that we must talk about. Yes. So if you guys aren't looking at uh, the, the overlay... It's hard to see what that is, but that is a tub of trail mix. <laughs> but it's specific. It's specifically the Stop and Shop Sweet and Salty Cranberry t- trail, trail Cranberry Cranberry Raisin or whatever Sweet and Salty Trail Mix. Um, it's got everything. It's got uh, chocolate. chocolate. It's got pe- dark chocolate, peanuts, cranberries, regular sunflower, uh, seeds. sunflower seeds, raisins. It's got, uh, what's called? It's got uh, pumpkin seeds. It's got uh, some walnuts. It's got a whole bunch of almonds. It's got everything in it. It does. I just happened to find it at Stop and Shop. I, it's $8 for a three, like, it is a tub where it's 3,000 calories in the entire tub. $8, whereas other trail mixes, $8 for, like, a tiny little hand, you know, a uh, little snack. Um, it, it's, it's practically a steal, I mean, if you really think about it. You know, yeah. it doesn't taste like it's yeah. garbage. Yeah. It tastes yeah. like it's an actual yeah. quality, mm-hmm. you know, trail mix. I don't know. I don't know which people that Stop and Stop is oppressing in order to make this <laughs> as cheap as it is, but it tastes really good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I personally think it is a A. I, I was gonna say, will we will we bump it up to an S, or is that is that just a little, is that a little bit too uh, jokey? <laughs> I mean, if we bump it up to an S. The question is, is the quality mind blowing enough? I mean, it's great. It's I, it's. Gr- I think it's a really solid A plus. Yeah. Well, like the the other thing too is just like I don't know what an S. I'm not exactly sure that I've experienced an S of trail mix yet, but it's really good. That is true. Um, like I was saying to you, right? The only other way it could be an S is like with some sort of fancy freeze dried, or not dried, free, uh, fancy dehydrated veg- uh, fruits or things like that in there, but. Um, yeah, I think it's a solid A. Has, has has the trail mix changed our our perception on eating or you know being on the trails? It certainly did per- change our perception on eating and what we should do, right. like snacks wise. Like even now, if I don't have like, I, I, trail I mix, think that's a criteria to approve it for an S. Going to be an S, you want to? We could put it. For I, think, an S? I think I think we can approve it for an S okay. because that has changed our, the way we ate. You know, this, the way we've you know completely. True. Uh, the food that the types of foods that we would bring yeah for snacks. snacks yeah it's true uh you know the taste the cost yeah you know everything about it seems to be in the in the s you know echelon so, so i guess the only reason we might make it an s tier is that it's cheap but that doesn't necessarily mean that it shouldn't be an s tier <laughs> no no the fact that it okay. is cheap the value it is really mean. good value the value itself yeah. really yeah. makes it an S. And in New York City, it's quite rare because they don't, for some reason, stock it in New York. Um, I guess they don't want people to eat it. I don't know. But I, will, I, will, I think that it could, I'm okay with it being an S. Okay. Um, I think that it's, partially I think it's funny that this is something from Stop and Shop that's in our S tier here. Hey, look, you but never know, right? It's, you never know. But it's, it, it diver- it's deserving of that, definitely. Yes. It could be deserving of it, so. Yep. North Face. The North Face. So I don't know much about this. Uh, I've had a few North Face <sighs> items. Um, one of them is a North Face backpack. One of my very first backpacks. It's completely falling apart, but it's lasted for like... I've had it since like 2004 or something like that. 2005. Yeah. You know, back when, back in the days when I was in the military. Oh, wow. Uh, and it's only falling apart now because the inner... Part of the 
I don't know. I don't oh, the know inner that. lining or whatever. The lining, the, yeah. the, the 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 rubbery lining just falling yeah. apart. And it's like yeah. turning into like mush. Yeah. They make really average gear. Okay. I don't think they're anything special. Are they? For example, are they in the like Columbia Outdoor Research? I think they're more than that. So they're better. They're I think they're better. better. Okay. I think I think by or like prestige, the REI yeah, by prestige, kind of by uh, I don't want to say value, by prestige, by the type of uh, the quality that they have, yeah. and the amount of equipment that they have for you. Yeah. I think it's a good B. All right, solid B. Thermarest. Neither of us have anything from Thermarest, so this is again just by reputation, really. <laughs> I mean. Everybody has one of those Z lights. Uh, well, you have the sit pad. Right? I have a sit pad, pad, but you know I don't really care about yeah. that. But some people have the the actual, you know, the, yeah, the it's the Z light. Yeah, Z light. It. Or and the, or they have the um, what's the name of the inflatable one that they have? The one that has like the mylar on the inside. That's like oh, super yeah. super super like low temperature rated one. Oh. It's a Thermarest something. I can't remember, but it's one of their also one of like the go to sleeping pads that people use. Yep. Um, I don't know. I would. What would you say? B. 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 Yeah. yeah. Again, this is we don't have as much. Oh, this is interesting. Tokes. Tokes. The Chinese brand. Yes, right? it is a Chinese brand that makes uh, titanium cups and uh, titanium pans. things, right? Yeah, yeah. titanium things. Uh, outside of the cups. Don't know too much about them. Don't really care. No. They just make really decent cups. You gave me their spork. Yes. So I bought a spork. I didn't really like it too much because like, I felt like they didn't refine it, but you didn't care too much about that. Right? I actually like their spork. Okay. I might actually... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about... Actually, I forgot one thing you've seen at the summit that I have that you both we both have is their spork. Oh... Yes. So Tokes has a very... Basically a knockoff of the Sea to Summit spork. Um... Do you want to talk about your 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 cup first? But because I, I think we're gonna get into a little small conversation on the spork thing. Okay, uh, so pretty much, yeah. the Tokes they make a titanium cup. Yep. I ended up buying I think like a six hundred and fifty milliliter uh, fil- mil- yeah the one that's, cup. Yeah, I know. Yep. Yeah. And then I ended up buying a seven hundred I think because I realized that it was not as yeah. I, I needed something slightly bigger. Because when they, my, yeah. Yeah, my OCD kicked in, so I needed something slightly bigger. Well, I think also for them, it's like when they measure 650 milliliters, it's literally yes, to the top. Yes. There's that, no that's, room. That, that's an issue. If it says yeah. 650 milliliters on the outside of the box, yeah. it means all the way to the top of the cup. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that's about, but. You like know. who's going to who's gonna do anything with something right. that way? I, I'm like not doing a, that. Yeah. So I ended up buying a 700 milliliter, milliliter, is that what it is? Yeah. ML. That way, when you fill it to 650, mm-hmm. you have space, right? Uh, but besides that, I think you wanted to talk about the, the spork. Spork. So I haven't used the spork to camp with. I have used the Sea to Summit spork. Yes. Well, basically, they're almost copies. The difference, which you didn't like, but that I actually like, is that the bowl part of the spork is sort of polished, yep. and the tines are a little sharper because it's polished. Um, the the Cedar Summit is actually made out of aircraft aluminum, and the Tokes is made out of um, is made out of titanium. So I don't know that you could even polish one, but the Cedar Summit has some sort of like a coating on the outside, it does. like a it's not like a nonstick, but there's some sort of like a hardened coating on it. Um, one thing I might actually like about the Tokes is that it's easier to wipe things off of it because okay. of the um, it's not catching, like it's not yeah, gritty because so it, it has catch. the yeah because it has the uh, uh, this sort of like polished bowl it actually might be easier to wipe things off of it um which i do now because i use it for my lunches all the time uh so i don't know i like that um i don't know what would you put it at it's another kind of interesting budget brand that gets it's better than the budget implies yeah what would you put it at i i think i think they're a b i think they could be a b i think they're b simply yeah. because they're the value is good yeah the quality of the item is good. It's true. You know, they have decent reputation right now. It's true. Uh, just nothing yeah. wrong with it, really. No, it's true. So we're going to give it a B? Yeah, I would give it a B. All right. Yep. Last f- six. Yep. So Trader Joe's is one of them. Yep. So this is another big food brand. Yep. So let's let's just, like, say what it is that we actually use there, since Trader Joe's has so many things. Uh, so, unfortunately for John, being a vegetarian, <laughs> yep. he does not get the opportunity of 
bringing a fresh steak. To... <laughs> you guy, you forgot it was a Trader Joe's steak. Yeah, it is Trader Joe's steak. It's a Trader Joe's steak in New York Strip. I mean, you know. Okay. So every 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 time we go camping, if I know that we are not oh, going to be in a fire restricted area, I always bring a steak that is uh, cut up. Yep. Marinated with olive oil, garlic, onions, rosemary, sorry, rosemary yeah. uh, <laughs> put it in aluminum foil, and then like once we get to, to campsite, I just yeah. toss it in a fire, pull it out, and boom, I got myself a nice steak. Lord right? Yun. <laughs> yep. Well, this peasant over here is eating, you know... Freeze-dried something. Freeze-dried herbivore outdoors or some crap. Ramen. Ramen. Because I'm just yeah, eating ramen. top ramen. Yeah. So that's the but that's I, one I get things. one of those. I also get the coffee because yep. we spoke about Starbucks before, but Starbucks does not have the creamer, which Trader Joe's does. Trader Joe's has a instant coffee with creamer okay. and sugar. The only downfall to that is that you have to bring two packets instead of one. Mm -hmm. That way, you get a much bolder taste. Oh, so it's not as strong. As, yes, it doesn't have the strong taste the mm -hmm. way the Starbucks does. Okay. Yep. So there's a third and a fourth one that maybe, maybe you forgot. Third one, we have used, I'm pretty sure, almost 100% sure, we used their instant oatmeal. Yep. Um, we needed to use two packs per because they're actually quite small. Mm -hmm. But it was, um, it had uh, apple. It was mm -hmm. like apple flavored with little apple bits. They're really good. Mm -hmm. I like that. Third one, the last one, which was a spur of the moment purchase uh, when I went to Kent, their lemon cough drops. Oh, yeah. Those were good lemon they cough, cough good. drops. And they kind of gave you a little nice little yeah. zip of energy when we needed them to. Trader Joe's, they, they make some really, really good quality uh, third-party items. Yeah. You know, outside of... Uh, I guess they don't really make like you know, any big brand items. No. Outside of Hebrew National, if you get hot dogs there. But uh, everything else, I think, is perfectly... Uh, in line with a, would you say B or would you say A? Interesting. I I think B. So that you know, they're really average. Yeah, really average. Yeah. Like, I like we we're having like the, we're having like a like a, a high school grade kind of like <laughs> thing here where most of the things actually are now B. <laughs> um, Great inflation. <laughs> there, there was a lot of C, and then now there's a lot of B, yeah. and then A is like kind of there. Yeah. But S, only a couple S. Yeah. So this is the next one, next brand that both of us are so deep into. We have given so much money to this particular. <laughs> this Colorado. Small, yeah, boutique Colorado. Uh, cottage. Yeah, cottage business. Yep. Uh, the next brand is going to be Warbonnet Outdoors. Can they see your? Five stickers over there. Uh, probably. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. You see his five Warbon Outdoor I'm stickers. Sure, I'm pretty sure I have more, yeah. except I threw them away because <laughs> I had so many. Oh, Jesus. So, anyways, right. Warbon and Outdoors, they make the Blackbird, Blackbird XLC, yep. the OG Blackbird, the El Dorado, yep. the Ridge Runner, yep. blah, 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 Superfly, yep. Mini Fly, Thunderfly, all the flies. All their tops. Tarps. Yeah, tarps. Uh, Under quilts. Speed, top quilts. The speed, I mean, the, the fish hooks. Uh, yeah. Diamondback uh, top quilt, yep. Wookie yep. and Yeti yep. under quilts. Yep. See, we know this stuff by name, so yep. they're all about trying to find the lightest possible way to to mm -hmm. do hammock camping. Yep. Now, here's something I do think is true: if you really want to go ultra light, you probably have to go with a tent. Is that as far as we can tell? Uh you want to go like the lightest humanly possible. You can, you got to go with a tent. Probably. Okay, but if you want to have. It's but, still but you're, you're capable. You're, but you know what? You're life. not. You're not that far off. With no, it's the old true. Hammock. It's true. You know. So that's the only thing. If you're truly about like ultralight, yeah. right? If you're yeah. truly about shaving ounces, yeah. then yes, yeah. a tent would have to be the way to go. Yeah. You probably would end up getting like You'd probably uh, shave a good eight ounces off something like probably. that. Probably. Because I know you that know? some of the super ultralight tents are like really, 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 really light. Yeah. Um, but besides that, they. Warbond and make some quality items. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not gonna find a messed up stitching. You're nope. not gonna find, you know, a an under an under quilt that does not fulfill, you know, its yep. duties. Yep. Um, the designs are also just very good yes, designs. Great designs, and I really haven't had to wait for any of my items to come. 
that long. I mean, they do have like a manufacturing. They do. They do. They have like a, it's usually two to four weeks, yep. but they can usually make it happen yeah. really quickly. They're, they're good. They're responsive. I have no complaints about Warbonnet. Um, I think that they, like I said, very innovative mm -hmm. design of their asymmetric, uh, their asymmetric blade um, hammocks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just it's it's a really good system. Uh, the thing is, obviously, it's like once you're in their system, you're kind of in. <laughs> yep. You know, that's oh, why yeah. we're so deep into it. Yep. So, what would you put them at? I think they're A. I think they're A. Yeah. All right. Wigwams. 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 So you, I don't actually have wigwams. Wigwams. Uh, I have a pair. I don't use them for hiking because they don't. They're not that good. All right. What would so, you put them at? I think they're a C. All right. C tier. I can't see what the next logo is. Winter Outfitters. So oh, Winter, 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 Out Winter Outfitters. Okay, you know this it is one. a, it's practically a Chinese brand. You can get it on eBay. You can get it on Amazon. It's a cheap hammock. Uh, usually they come in a set with a strap and all that other stuff. Yeah. Forget that. Put a little bit more money in if you want. Get yourself some whoopee slings. Get yourself some good tree straps. Yep. And you're gonna be good to go. Yep. All right. Now. You know, Winter Outfitters, they're the same, or they feel the same, uh, they they function the same as Eagle's Nest, uh, Eagle's Nest Outfitters. Which for some reason didn't lo load on here, but we could, oh wait, no, we, we did. No, we, yeah, we, we did, did it already, we did yeah, it already. Sorry. So, what would you put them at? If Eno is C. Based on that, yeah. I think it's a B. B? Yes. So you would say it's better than Eagle's Nest for I was, like value for money kind of value thing? Value for money, I would I say. Gotcha. And right. I've used it and abused it. Okay. And it has not broken. There you go. So I think it is a B. There you go. Another Chinese brand yep. into the B tier. But, but one one thing that's not a B is this. Crap. Yeah. Wait. I was going to make a racist joke. Can I make a racist joke? I mean, we'll see. All right. Well, you know what they say. We're Asians, not Bijans. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> wise right. wise company Let so me. wise food brand is a food bucket food brand that i bought back when i thought well i still think that the world is going to end <laughs> but back when i actually wanted to prepare for it rather than to accept the fact that as i was telling you earlier i would probably just die and someone would just like kick my ass and take my stuff and i would just <laughs> die on the side of the road somewhere <laughs> And they would take my wise food. And then I would poison them with the wise food because it tastes bad. Yes. Like, if you go back to our video for our very first thing, we both said that it tasted fine. And I don't know what kind of peyote we were on <laughs> because it has tasted like feet every single other time that we've eaten it, ate, eaten it either on the trail or off the trail. I think it tasted okay early on because you're just kind of like, you know, you weren't expecting it to taste a certain yep. way. You just kind of were like, oh, you know. Just it's go just, with it. Yeah, right. it's, just, it's just a regular food uh, that you put water in and you let it sit and soak. And then you just eat it like it's an MRE or something like that. Or some sort of, I don't know, other yep. backpacking brand. Like, maybe I will review this again because I do have, still have that food bucket. And I still have to figure out how to, like, things to add. Like I, I like I had that food. Food is actually not expired, so I might actually have to eat it at some point in time. So I think it's an F tier. What do you think? I think it's an F tier. F tier. One of our few F tiers. Yep. Last. Last. One, but not least. Well, not least. Uh, and you didn't end up buying this, did you? No, I okay. did not. All right. I did not because I, you I ended up picking SWD simply because of the customization. Uh, and because a lot of people were reviewing it, saying that it is a really good pack. All right, and well, you do have some of their the, the, the brand do, is Z packs. I do have I do have a bunch of their little bags and stuff like that. So many like of Cuban them. fiber stuff, Cuban fiber accessories. It's Cuban fiber rich, this man. Yes, <laughs> I personally like the way Cuban fiber sounds. I like the way it feels. The crinkling sound. I like the way it feels. Okay. All right, I like the fact that they're clear. <laughs> yeah. All right, unlike seal nylon or seal poly, which I you know, have my stuff sack, my previous stuff sack. Yeah. I can see all the stuff inside and I feel like it's a little bit more, it feels more organized for me. Fair. So, Z-Packs makes, you know, make Cuban fiber. I think yeah. they make really great little items. Yeah. 
right? I just don't have their backpack. Yep. And you were on top of you. That was the one I you was, wanted to buy for like I was, I was, months. <laughs> I was literally, I had the Z Packs. Uh, I forgot which one it was. Z Packs uh, pack mm. on my web browser. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, you had it yeah. With... I had it always on my web browser, <laughs> ready, to, ready for the per purchase. Did you do know the thing where you like have it in your cart and you just like keep it in there. I I kind of did. I kind of did, and it kind of pissed me off that every once in a while they would clear it. Yep. yep. So yep. I did not like that, but I did have it in my cart, and I did want to purchase it. I was this close until uh, Superior Wilderness came uh, came into your life. Came into my life. <laughs> I personally yeah. think it is a a brand. It it sounds I, like it's always been yeah. It is a, the 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 pack of choice for many AT through hikers and the and ultralight many PCT yeah. many through hikers in general. Yeah. All a lot of the ultralight people, yes. like. It's interesting because I think the rest of the 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 reputation is that Z Packs is like the ultimate, and Gossamer Gear is like somewhere close behind. But mm. I, I don't know. Um, you said that the reason why you didn't, because we never talked about this. You said the reason why also you didn't take the Z Packs too is that you had heard some trail um, reports that that the quality that there was something wrong with the quality. Is that what you said? That you heard that their quality had dropped or something like that? There was there was a rumor or something uh, alleged that. Uh, Z packs their quality control hasn't been as good since they've gotten so big. Uh, okay. So they, you know, they've been a little bit more lax in like more holes, more you know, uh, tearing has been happening. So. And that's one of the reasons why I really didn't want to get a Z packs anymore, you know. But besides that, again, they make some quality items, you know, yeah. bags. Uh, whatever else, it makes some quality items. I think it's an A. I would I agree. I think by prestige is an A. I would agree. By value, it sits around a B mark because they're expensive. Yeah. But by the fact that it's an ultra light pack, yeah. with good, you know, uh, prestige, I would give it an A. All right, there you go. You think so? I I will go with you on this one because I don't know as much about it. Yep. Um, but I know their reputation. It's an A reputation. So there it is. There you have it. Yep. There this is it. our ultimate the list that I guess we may someday change. But this is our current list for now in terms of our tier list. Um, for those of you who are still awake <laughs> with us, <laughs> I think we're like two hours in yeah, at this point. Yeah. Well, you know, like that's okay because it's like how long was uh, Endgame? Topical. Uh, Endgame was like yeah. three hours long, right? Yep. Yeah. Is this is just as entertaining, I'm sure. Yeah, but it's um, free. This is and free. And it's free. Um, hit that like button. Smash that yeah. like button. Like, um, subscribe. Follow, uh, follow us on trade Twitter. Us. Yeah. Uh, we have a Twitter now, <laughs> apparently. Oh. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, there's probably not going to be much on it. Yeah. But maybe let's just go up to just like show our A's and our F's. Because okay. we'll say what are our A's and our F's just for... If if there are any, um, I'm mean, sorry, S's and our F's. I mean, if there's any gear that we've missed that you would like us to either talk about, yep, let us know in the comments below. Yep. Um, but besides that, we hope you enjoyed this video, yep. and we will be posting this picture of, yep. uh, you know, yep. the tears. Absolutely. All right. Any last closing remarks? Do you want it? I wanted to go over what our S's and our F's were actually. <laughs> Oh, you want me to read it? Yeah, we'll read just from that. So the, these are the top, top highest quality of all of our so, things and the, 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 the worst quality of the things. Arterix, Bob Destrude, uh, Good To Go Meals, Herb Mushroom Risotto, mm -hmm. Patagonia, Patagonia, and the Stop and Shop Trail Mix. Right. That's Those your are the S -tier. top S tier. These are things that are wonderful, no matter who you are or yep. where you go. Mm -hmm. The F tier, or the failed tier, is the Life Straw, yep. the Outdoor Herbivore, yep. and Wise Company. Yep. Fewer F tiers than I thought. Yes. But there you go. Put them. All right. All right. Until then, see you later. See you later. <laughs>